it's a brand new year, and uh, we are back to the old haunts, as it were. Um, but it has been some time since we have been with you all. I hope everyone had a wonderful and restful holiday and a good new year. Happy Year of the Wood Dragon, which will start on February 10th, and happy 2024! Um, just to give everyone a reminder of who we are, I'm going to name off our players, and they're going to remind you who they are and what they are playing. We are going to start with Orf. Why? No, Because <laughs> you're the first one I saw. <laughs> All right, I am Dwarf. I am playing uh, Missouri, uh Warlock, uh, that has way too many tricks up his sleeves. Preston. Hi, I'm Preston. I'm playing Clovis, a cleric who um, hopefully will figure out how to solve these problems that are right in front of us. Carl. Hi, I'm Carl, and I'm playing Basric Cobb, a half-orc samurai. Moira. Hello, my name is Moira. Um, I'm playing Zir. She is a cedar rogue. And Austin. Hello, I'm Austin. I'm playing Quedon Zanosk, the Firbolg Grave Cleric of the Death God Zarakus. Excellent. He did and way I... better than the rest of us. He did. He did. I was thinking, I was <laughs> like, damn, damn, damn. Going last he did time. really good. Next he time, did kill it's, it. It's next... because I thought about it really hard. <laughs> like, next time he goes he first, so uh -huh. we know yep. where the bar is. Now oh, I just absolutely. Why I prefer going last in initiative. <laughs> there you go. Man. And I am Red, your Red Master. When last we left our adventurers, they were in the Undercroft of the Seltradot Mansion. They had made their way to meet a young girl by the name of Katya, who was much larger than a girl of her age should be, and had taken a liking to the young boy, Dimitri. She promised to protect him while they looked around, and as they did, they made their way into what appeared to be a laboratory littered with bodies and parts of bodies. They found some notes of Madame Seltradot detailing experiments and an artifact. They may have found a way to defeat her daughters, but first they're going to have to deal with her security system, because as they put down the notes and read the final passage, the bodies on the ground stood to attention with rusted blades. So, my lovely adventurers, would you please do me the honor of rolling our first initiative of 2024? Whoopee! <laughs> Yippee! Let's go. And so don't forget excited. to click on your character. So scared. Do we even want to try with these dice? Like, is 2024 going to be another year of these dice? Believe. Physical dice all the way. I just rolled the physical, it was even worse. <laughs> Did you? Good yeah. heavens! Heavens to Bitsy. Uh oh. Well, I hope. Hmm. This is fun. <laughs> very good. Very good. <laughs> nice. Not very nice. Not very nice. Nice. Okay. Well, hey, let's go. That is an that is an eight. I rolled physical. Oh, very nice. All right. I will add you in. Oh dear. You are halfway up the ladder of initiative. Yeah. With an eight. You're actually doing okay. Um, thankfully, the enemies are not going first. Um, so, I think, it being 2024 and all, we should start it off with the beautiful musical stylings of one asterisk VTuber, yes. and let us begin. Yeah. I, I don't hear the music. Is it on? Oh, there it, it is. It is now. <laughs> <laughs> As if on cue. Heck yeah. It's almost like... <laughs> It it's happened. like I'm doing this. <laughs> and at the top of the initiative, the luckily for him, considering he's surrounded, we have Bazura. Um, So looking at all this, it's just popped up around me. Um, I'm just going to look at Mary. I'll look over to Clovis and I'm going to go, stay out there. I will look directly 
Aquedon, don't shoot me. You won't know where I am. And I'm going to hold up my hand and the smoke is going to writhe up my arm and I'm just going to slam it down on the ground and this black ichor is basically going to encompass the area as I cast darkness. All right. So I need uh, 30 foot uh, because I got a 15 foot uh, radius here. Let's see. How am I going to do this? Is it a cube or a circle? Uh, Sadly, it's a circle, I believe. Let me see. Um, sphere. So it's a 15 foot radius sphere? Yeah. Awesome. Um, I gotta figure out how to put it on the map here. Because <laughs> I never have to do that. Um, um, let's see here. Uh, cause it's I got also... one for you. Okay, good. Because it's, it's an area too, so it's, um, I'm not gonna go. cast it directly on me. Okay. There should be a gray circle around you now denoting the darkness. Okay. And then immediately after that, you're just going to hear Mary snicker and kind of chitter in delight. <laughs> as, oh, uh, <clears throat> there you as, go. <laughs> as immediately um, she takes two attacks. Well, actually, I was going to cast the darkness on Mary. Okay. I just noticed it was cast on me. Uh, yes. Uh, so centered on Mary, it will go here. Yes. Um, and then uh, she will do two tentacle attacks on um, purple. Okay. Um, does she have magical dark vision? Um, originally stated, you said that my creatures have what I had what had dark vision because I do. Okay. So she does have dark vision. And uh, the just rolls, double checking. Yep, the rolls are going to be it's a sixteen plus an eight. All right, that will hit plus an eight. So dirty. So are these eight. against purple, orange, yes. or green? Purple. Um, okay. Pur- they're both against purple. Okay, both of those will hit. Okay, and then it's going to be uh. 1d4 plus 2. So that's going to be a 6. Yeah, and a 3. Wow, I got the two extremes. Um, All right. Poison damage. Um, and then um, if it affects them at all, which probably doesn't, um, they have to succeed on a DC 13 constitution or be poisoned for a minute. So that will be two saves. Okay. Uh, it's poison damage? Yeah. Um, then as the tentacle hits, you see it rake across this creature's oh. body. Correction, only one is. The other one is a bite. And that's a different Okay. And so that's So we'll we'll take the six as the bite. Okay, and that's so that'll be uh oh that's why I have to roll another die then. That's a two Okay, four. so yeah, go ahead and roll so that. That's that's a six, that'll be a nine piercing damage. Okay. Alright. Sorry, I had to do some math. Okay. Totally fine. Um the tentacle does do nothing. But the bite does uh, less damage than you expect it should, but it definitely does damage. All right, very good, very good. Um, I will call out because my way, the way my character is, from within the darkness, you'll hear ten feet in front of me, fifteen feet to my. We'll assume clocks are in this world. Um, to my two o'clock. Okay. And that's and that all, will... and I'll leave it there. All right, that will bring us to the White's turn. Um, the two that are, the three that are in your darkness are all going to make perception checks to see if they can find. Whoops. Um, okay. Let's do it this way. Because it does not to all right um they get disoriented in the dark and are unable to find you but they are going to wander their way towards mary um green and orange will have disadvantage to attack her purple is currently connected to her by her teeth so purple will not have disadvantage okay so purple is going to make an attack um the you can see this Missouri. The rest of you just hear the sounds from inside. Um, 
the spore board reaches out and grabs Mary's head, and you can see its hand turn dark black. Um, does a 16 hit a Mary's 16 will hit, yes. All right, she takes six necrotic damage, and I need her to make a constitution saving throw. Okay, let me look at her uh, constitution plus three. Uh, let me see, where's her 20-sided? Uh, that's going to be a 13 plus three, a 16. Okay. Um, then she shakes off the effects of the life drain. Oh, yeah, that's actually um, good. I like that. But holding on to her head, the white swings with its rusted longsword. Okay. Shameful. Um, Lady Seltzer not, should, well, no, she's a scientist. She's not a warrior. She wouldn't know anything about weapon care. That will miss. Um, and then the other two will both take <clears throat> two longsword attacks against Mary with disadvantage. Okay. So the first one Um, will miss with its first attack. And, well, I think it misses. Uh, does a 14 hit Mary? A 15 would hit, a 14 would hit Mary, yeah. A 14 would hit? Okay, <clears throat> then Mary will take, um, three slashing. Okay. And then for the next attack, she will take 10 slashing. Okay. And then the third white is going to make its two longsword attacks with disadvantage. Uh, that will hit for seven slashing damage. All right. And then the second longsword attack with disadvantage will also hit for seven slashing damage. All right. Um, this uh, blue one seeing the darkness go up is going to kind of ah! switch back and turning its attention the next person it sees is Bosric and it screeches and holds out its hand and you see um, two shards of bone which look to be its wrist bones appear out of its hand and then fire out at you as it shoots two bone shards at you uh, the well, first one I'm going to say it, it's right there that's a handy uh, trick. <laughs> the first one is a 14, which I believe will miss. The second one is even less, which will also miss. Um, next, we are going to go to pink. Uh, Clovis, you see this creature turn away from the darkness and kind of make a exhale sound as it reaches out to try and grab you. Um, Let it try. It, it is going to try. Famous last words. <laughs> uh, Famous 15. last words, but not mine. Doesn't hit. All right. Um, you are able to put up your shield at the last moment, and you can see the necrotic energy kind of spread out from your shield and then immediately retreat back into its hand. Uh, but it is also going to swing at you with its longsword. Uh, for a 20. That does hit. Okay. Um, so as the... Um, as the longsword comes down, Clovis, you see that it's going to hit you, and it does. You feel it bite into your body. But something's different. And all of you look at Clovis... And where the longsword bites in, his skin has turned to reptilian scales and has stopped the sword. Clovis, for the next six rounds, you have resistance to all non-psychic damage. How fortuitous. So your ten slashing is reduced to five. Awesome. Hmm. <laughs> And Clovis, you don't see your skin turn um, turn to reptilian. What you see is the aura of a shell around your body catching the longsword before it can penetrate deeper into your shoulder. Hmm. 
Okay. I think, yeah, Clovis is was so busy, like, fighting off the, the breath attack with his shield that he misses the longsword, and as it comes in and catches on what he sees as the the turtle shell under his breath, he would just say, Stendar, thank you. Um, but they are not done with you quite yet. Yellow hmm. also holds up its hand and making that same awful sound fires a pair of bone shards at you. The first one will be a 22. That'll hit. Uh, you will suffer 10 piercing, reduced to 5. Okay. And I thought I was a tank. <laughs> you still are, don't worry. <laughs> um, I'm saying that and, appreciatively. <laughs> uh, a 23, which will be 6 piercing, reduced to 3. Okay. Um, Blue and green in the back is also going to fire bone shards at you. Surely someone will miss. Uh, 15? That misses. All right. Uh, the second bone shard. Uh, Queen, and that one actually, like, flies over your shoulder, so you're just, uh. ugh. <laughs> uh, the second bone shard at you will be an 11, which will also miss. Mm-hmm. Um, so, Bosric, as you look to, uh, your right, you see a pair of those bone shards embedded in the door. Um... Uh over his shoulder, I think Clovis will look to Bosric, like sort of follow the line of sight of those to him. Any plans? Side of those um, to him. Looking on it. Any that will bring us to Zir. Hello. Um So Zir is going to enter the room, I think is a good start. Probably. So we're gonna do five ten. When I get here is this door open, closed, locked? What does it look like? From closed and locked. Closed and locked. Okay. Um. And like you, you can tell that it is locked from this side. With it's not just locked with like a padlock. There's a bar on this door. Oh, excellent. Okay. Madame Seltradot gonna... is very clearly trying to keep her in. Great, because I was gonna do that if it wasn't already done. <laughs> because uh I don't yeah, let's keep it contained in here. Um great, so five ten. Well let's just start beating up on some people, huh? Sounds good to me. Please, please kill my mushrooms. Okay. And I was out of the room, so I'm gonna say that I probably didn't hear Missouri very well. Unless Missouri did any voice augmentation to be heard? Yeah. So uh, I, I just I just yelled. I just yelled. Okay. I will point out when once you're next to me, Missouri's in all that. <laughs> Great. Um, <laughs> but I, I I don't think I would have a good concept of where anyone is. So instead, I will just sneak up right beside Clovis. Now he's adjacent, so I still get sneak attack, right? It does. It's not the same as flanking. It just has to be adjacent. Um, yes, that's correct. Excellent. So I will sneak on up in here and slice out a pink with my rapier. <laughs> Your rapier. My rapier. <laughs> Um, my special rapier that I need to roll, I need to remember to roll my extra d4 for in the yes. noggin. It's a 22 to hit. <laughs> That'll do it, yeah. Stunning. 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 You're um, about to into monks, sweet. <laughs> right? Yeah, I'm, I'm doing stuns. Okay, um, so there's that. If you can say, that would be amazing. <laughs> <laughs> that would be fun. Ooh, don't give me ideas. And then Sheesh. I will Good roll the extra Lord. D for. All right. Well, you do. Parotli. Yeah. There's your um, a single fire just for insult. <laughs> just just to make them feel bad. <laughs> hey, it's that's a thing. Um, because it does, it does seem to have resisted your. Oh no, it doesn't resist because it's magic. Never that, mind. That lady set me up good. Yeah, you man. you you bopped. <laughs> pink pink has been thoroughly bopped. Bopped. Uh, which will bring us to Queedon. 
Oh, I made a macro for my rapier boon. Duh. Okay, I'll roll that next time. Cool. Um, I'm, I'm sorry. And if you're done, Zier. I believe so. Okay. I think so. Okay. Okay, I'm definitely going to make use of probably the one uh, combat round that I, or the one round in this combat that I will have the opportunity to do damage. Um, so <laughs> I'm gonna start out by uh, bonus action spiritual weaponing just to get that out of the way. Okay. Um, so we've got our uh, beautiful black spindly little guy uh 60 feet range could i see that on the map so i can know exactly where to place it is that possible? yeah i'm i'm looking for the the glaive icon and i can't find it so hold on i'm gonna give you something else okay uh <laughs> um all right here and i can place it anywhere within 60 feet of me what is yes. what what is that? What am I it's looking at? It's a wolf that I used for another campaign. Okay. Uh, um... Yes, yes, Carl, it's right here. What's the way? Um, okay, so yeah, just tell me where you want Wait, that. This is a sixty foot range that I don't have to worry about. That's that's like this whole This is a 50 foot by, so it'll get, if I just place it in the center of, of these guys, so just like two to the yep. left, that will get, or sorry, two to the, two to the left rather. Here. Um, yeah. Will that get, okay, that's one, two, three. Um, I will say if you attack into the magical darkness, you will be taking disadvantage. Gotcha. Super true. Um, well, that's just a good strategic center of the map place to place that, so I'm fine with that. Uh, okay. Because it, it can attack anywhere. And um, whoa, whoa, Yeah, whoa, the 30-foot the movement it has, it can go anywhere in this room. No yeah. problem. Yeah, it's, I'm super chill with that. Uh, so let me... Let me... Let me go for uh, the one... Right next to next to Zier that I'm not liking. Pink? Yeah, let me go for pink. Alright. That is just a melee spell attack. Okay. Yes. So it's a D twenty plus your proficiency plus I believe for you wisdom. Yes. Not great. Um That's a fifteen, does that hit? That'll do it. Oh nice. These guys are wearing corroded armor. It is not very good. <laughs> Super great. Okay. Then damage. They've for probably that. been here for 200 years. Damage for that is going to be. Ugh, not great. Just seven. Okay. Uh, and then with. Uh, my... Is that radiant damage? That is. What type of damage from a spiritual weapon? I believe it is. Damage, evocation. If I recall, you can choose Radiant or Necrotic. Ah. They're not... What are they? These are skeletons? These are whites. These are whites? Yes. What's gonna... I mean, Necrotic makes the most sense to me as Death God guy. Um, but remembering that they are undead. But they are undead. Uh, let's do... Yeah, Radiant. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it... Uh... Actually, spiritual weapon does not do either of those. It does force damage. Oh, my I'm apologies. so yeah. wow. <laughs> We're all so good at this game. Oh, and yeah, okay. it it. Oh my god, and it said it too. I'm so I'm sorry. <laughs> You're all good. First, first session back from break, people. All right. It's okay. I'm a DM. I've I'm a professional DM. I do this for my job, and I don't know that. So you're fine. Let's go. <laughs> okay, and then let's go ahead and target a new guy. Uh, let me target Mr. Yellow. Um, move move over here a little bit. Um, I am gonna whites. What are what 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 are whites? Sorry, can you describe what I'm looking at one more time? Um, you are you. What you are seeing is basically it looked like it was once a soldier. Yeah. Um, the body 
looks like all of the moisture has been sucked out of it and it is covered in mushrooms. Yeah, they're they're gross looking undead. So I'm just gonna I'm gonna get real mad, and <laughs> I'm I'm just gonna say yeah, it's just. Now, as a reminder, before you get really cool, you cannot cast another leveled spell. It has to be a cantrip. You can cast because... one leveled spell per turn. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, yeah. Just making okay. sure. Okay, cool. <laughs> Yeah, you can yeah, use yeah, all your yeah. class features though, which yes, I think may be what you're about to do. Mm -hmm. Which, which I just wanted to let you know, like before you had like a cool like monologue, yeah. and was, like, and then I inflict no. <laughs> no, 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 yeah, I'm not. Well, I'm not gonna do that. Um, yeah, I'm probably gonna gonna try to turn some buddies. Um, okay, that you yeah. can absolutely. I'm gonna do. try to turn some buddies since my spiritual weapon can basically go anywhere. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna look out at them all. Um, yeah, I was going to target a guy, um, but I'm not going to do that anymore. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm just going to look out and just... Foul, unholy, unworthy creatures! And just, uh, yeah, grab, like, I'm going to just, like, grab with both hands, uh, like, all of my chains and just, like, grip them super tightly um, speaking in tongues. And I'm gonna need a wisdom saving throw. Here, actually, let me move. Uh, let me try to get all of these three. Can I do that? 30 feet? Uh, yeah, you should be able to. And also, um, I will remind you, Channel Divinity is anyone that can see or hear you. So the ones in darkness will be affected. Ah, okay. Well, I don't... I can't move all of that way anyway. Uh, okay. to get all of those four. I think I'm going to go for the... Okay, well, you are going to get purple. Cool. At least. Great. So for these four? Uh, yeah, so you're getting purple, pink, yellow, and uh, blue, green. green and blue. Yes. Cool. Let me... Uh, they all need wisdom saves. Okay. Uh, DC 15. All right. <laughs> Love that for me. Yep. All right. Purple fails, is afraid. Let's go. Uh, pink fails, is afraid. Yellow super fails, is very afraid. Mm -hmm. Blue and green passes with a natural 20. You found the villain, guys. <laughs> In yeah, every combat, colors. there is one. I'm like, it's, it's the yeah. same guy. He just keeps mm -hmm. coming back. <laughs> you just hear my own voice and whispers like overlapping over itself as I'm just. <laughs> All right. Um, so they uh, spend their turn trying to move as far away from me as it possibly can, and cannot willingly move to a space within thirty feet. Can't take reactions. Only use the dash action. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. So that is for ten rounds, or until it takes damage. Yeah. Just so everybody knows going forward. All right. Will that be all for you, Quedon? Um. Bonus action, action. Uh, would it be worth it to move at all? I had to look Don't. to see if uh, Katya yeah. was within 30 feet, because technically she is undead, but she's yeah. not. <laughs> I think that is it for me, yes. Could have been useful. All right. Uh, then that will bring us to oh, Cold. Uh, I'm going to give a side eye to the guy that shot at me. And realize he's far too far away to actually get to. So I'm going to, in a very obvious dis dis move, look away from him and get. She's sassy. <laughs> Maybe if he hit me, he'd be worth it. Oh, <laughs> we will hey, work on that. It's next 2024. Time. I am barreling out the gate, sir. <laughs> this is the year of Boz. As I, as I was about to say, you're of the dragon who. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Just the zombie like a boss. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to move. At... Oh, wait, token setting. Around to here. Okay. I'll take a quick moment. <clears throat> Clovis, Queden. 
If Missouri gets out of that dark, I want you both around him in a bunker. We need to keep him safe. We need to get this done quick and economically. Can trips if you can. We we need to be prepared for the second wave when they come, and they will. We need to be as powerful as possible. And then I'm just going to take two swipes on this joker. All right. Uh, curse you, natural wonders. Oh, dear. Yeah, those are the... Well, the lucky thing about that is that because he can't take reactions, he can't hit you back. That was two in a row. Oof, maybe it isn't the year of Buzz. Darn the year off strong. That is unfortunate. <laughs> Find the well, new D20. <laughs> No, those were four different dice. Oh. Oh, yeah, because you're flanking. Oof. All right. Um, okay. I'm going to just say that... Um, I'm just going to say I was I was distracted giving the order as well. I was swiping. <laughs> like, yeah, no, that, that sounds good. Go home, you're drunk. <laughs> All right. He, he got scared and he puffed up like mushroom dust in your face. You're like... <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, so that will bring us to uh, closing us off with Clovis. Mm -hmm. Clovis the Closer. We'll see if he earns that. <laughs> um, I think uh, hearing the instructions, uh, Clovis will look to Boz as he runs past and goes, yes, Captain. Um, he's going to drop Spiritual Weapon over by Blue. Okay. Uh, so <laughs> a big Greek column just falls from the sky uh, and lands... Uh, on that man and then tilts off into its its space. On uh, on uh, blue over here? Yeah, yeah. The one on the, the opposite side of the darkness cloud from us. Yeah, okay. Uh, so that will be to hit. Give me just a moment. I am getting a call up for you. Uh-huh. Uh, it'll be a miss on the first hit. Just letting you know, Boz also started off with two nat ones so far. Uh, so it's it's all looking good for us. Um, it's good. Oh wow! It's good. Made that is all acquaintance. That is in fact forgot. two nat ones. Good yeah. lord! <laughs> we are burning through them now. Uh huh. On the yeah, cat, I was say, on the you, on the on the foot soldiers. Uh -huh. So you that want they the nat ones of, against the out zombies of our, out of our mm -hmm. repertoire yeah. when the big bads show up. Yeah, that's fine. That the just needs thing. to be there for the future. We're getting rid of all the negative energy right now. Mm -hmm. This is not setting a precedent. This yeah. is purging the bad dice that have had away for several weeks. Because mm -hmm. if you have to fight her, you do not want that ones against Madame Seltradot. Yeah. Uh, it works out fine anyway, because Clovis is basically just dropping that so it'll be there. And because this man next to us cannot take reactions and Boz and uh, Zero are both here, uh, Clovis is going to run up to get near these two men. Uh, okay. Shield forward, ready to draw their attention. Okay. Um, yellow is afraid. Mm -hmm. Blue green looks like he's like squaring up. Mm -hmm. Oh, actually, um, I haven't used my action yet. So as I'm running upwards, uh, I will cast guiding bolt at blue green. Okay. Uh, so let's go ahead and. Oh, only cantrips, huh? Yeah. Um, Never mind. Yeah, then. I was going to say that. <laughs> yeah, I won't cast Guiding Bolt. I'll wait until I get to this square, and then I will use... Um... Hmm. You could always cast Fist. I could cast Fist, but I'm Fist. not good at Fist. <laughs> uh, I am going to use Word of Radiance, and I'm okay. only going to target Blue and Green. Okay. So because I don't want to end do? the Fear Effect. Uh, that will be a Constitution saving throw. All right, DC. Uh, 17. He will pass. Okay. He is the boss. Fair. Yeah. <laughs> the main character. Uh, all right. Yeah. Uh, Clovis just runs at this man and like lights his palm up with this like, uh, like odd geometric energy that manifests most of his spells and go in for a grab and just whiffs it. Okay. So now you notice, um, Clovis, because this is the first time you've actually looked at your hands, is when your hand goes forward. You don't see your hand. You hmm. see a sort of stumpy, thick, scaled hand with very spindly fingers, as you are now kind of encompassed in this turtle aura. Okay. But it looks 
does it look like turtle skin or does it look like some other sort of red? Looks like turtle skin. skin. Okay, cool. Mm. All right. I don't think yeah, Clovis as, is freaking out. As far as you know, you have a turtle umbra right now. Mm. Okay. Um, to everyone else, uh, when Clovis reaches out his hand, you see these very long dagger-like fingertips. Um, okay. That will bring us to the top of the lineup with Bazura. All right, so uh, I'm getting my food situated on my desk, so I'm trying to find rolling space. No worries. All right. Um, do I see... So, hype. so question is, do I see purple reacting any way that would matter to me? Or is it just standing there? Because you said it was um, scared. Um... Yes, uh, purple does look afraid, but it does not. He does not look afraid of you. Um, and you can see that pink and yellow are also afraid, and they are looking at Queden with fear, uh, okay. to the point that they have taken that purple has taken its focus off of Mary. Um, okay. The others do not look afraid. Uh, I also looks like they can't see, so I don't care too much. So um, I'll just say behind me, Mary. And I'll bring my hands together, and that smoke will wisp around, crackling like a like a light blue and purple, as I shoot two. Um, what is it called? I'm having a bad rain in a moment. Uh, two eldritch, eldritch blasts. Blast? Yeah, well, actually, yeah, he's actually using it. Eldritch blast at orange. Okay. Uh, let me grab a die here. Um, that's gonna be ten plus eight, so that's an eighteen on the first one. That'll hit. Okay, I'll roll all the damage together, depending on how I do on the second one. I would like to uh, thank Clovis and Boz, because I just got uh, the numbers that weren't on their dice are on mine, because I got a nat 20. <laughs> nice! <laughs> Very nice! Uh, so, let me get that. What's the nat 20 rule? Um, is it the full uh, It's full damage plus, plus one roll. the roll. Yes. Okay, so it's going to be, the one's going to be... 15 plus, let me grab my d10. So it's going to be 15 plus 8 on uh, the second one. So I have to do math. That's 23. Okay. And then the uh, the first one, let me grab that 10 again. That is going to be a 7 plus 5 for an additional 12. All right. So that's going to be um, 35. Um, I believe that's force isn't it yes yeah so as the smoke as your um as you throw up this eldritch blast the smoke around orange seems to just harden and compress and you see a hand grabbing and compressing orange the fingernails dig into orange's chest and it looks like you did most of his health in those two hits oh. orange is looking bad good fuck him um, <laughs> can I hold my movement until after Mary's turn? Um, I will allow that because you guys act in concert. Okay. Um, so I will use my hand in kind of motion for Mary to step back. So Mary okay. will move. Um, okay. Is that... Has uh, heard what Buzz said, right? About them forming a bunker around him once he's clear? Um, not, not quite so much. Um, oh, really? my buddy got his crap kicked out of him. Um, oh, okay. He was saying it loud enough, but. Oh, no, no. Sure. What, about you saying, uh, get them out of there, bunker around. Yeah. About, about them needing to flank you and protect you. Yeah. Yeah. He heard that. Um, Good. and I'm going to So take... did you, did you cast darkness on Mary or yeah, on, on Mary? Oh, the okay. darkness is on Mary. So I'll move Mary back. If you, uh, can you center it? Uh, the circle yeah. Uh, it? if you, um. Move Mary where you want her, and I will. Uh, I'll get the the darkness. Okay, so I'll move her just one in here because I'm moving. Wait, let me get me. So I'm moving. I'm going to move to the edge here. I can just move now. It actually doesn't affect me much. Um, so I'll move here. I'll wait for you to center the uh, circle. So that way I can see. Oh, thank yeah. you. oh, they're still all in darkness. Wonderful, wonderful. And then uh, Mary will um, do a tentacle attack, but is it possible to do, instead of a tentacle attack, um, do a more of a shove to push one of them away? 
Um, yeah, so what we're going to do for that is roll an attack with your tentacle. Uh, if it hits, we'll do a post athletics and see if she can okay. shove them. Uh, Which one are you trying to shove? Orange, the one that's hurt. I'm trying to move it out for the others to, to finish it okay. off if possible. Um, okay, so that is going to be a 15 plus 8. So that's going That'll to hit. hit. And now it'll be opposed athletics. And that's just the dex, right? Strength. A strength? Oh, that's mm -hmm. that's that's like better. Uh, that's going to be an 18 plus 2. So it's a dirty 20. All right. Uh, that will defeat it by 2. So orange will be pushed back 5 feet. And there's right, no uh, there's no damage right because it's... Um, because it's a shove. It's a shove yeah. and, it's a po and it's also poison anyway. And so I'll have it. I'm trying to push it. Um, yeah, that that way, uh, further away from them, but enough they could see this thing is hurting. Yeah. So all of you outside of the uh, smoke. So all of you see from this smoke, this spore-born emerge, and you can see like jutting bones sticking out of its body. You can see that like half of its chest is caved in. It does not look healthy. You would probably also have noticed that the darkness is starting to move around. Um, and then with that, I can end my turn. All right. Uh, that will bring us to the Sporeborn. Um, purple runs. 5, 10, 15, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60. Um, pink will run. Uh, away from Whedon. So, 5, 10, 15, 20. So, as it moves away, both Zier and Bosric have an attack of opportunity. You can take that in whatever order you wish. Ladies first. Thank you. I shall take it. With advantage? Uh, yes. Oh, with advantage! You are, you are full with Bosric. Um, a 16 to hit. That'll hit. Okay. You will get sneak attack damage as well. Okay. Stunning. Um, Zermadir. Zermadir. For the first time in 2024, I get to say, how would you like to do this? Okay. Um. So he, his, could you remind me what the pathing path was? Uh, he is running directly away from Vita. Okay, great. Um... I think, uh... Very nice, Queen, <laughs> thank you. I think Queen, I think Queen's doing some creepy shit, and I think Zir will just kind of lean into it, just for the fun of it, um, for the drama. Um, I strike fear in the hearts of the dead. Yeah, and so I think, um... <laughs> in typical Zir fashion, uh, as they run past, she'll kind of almost sidestep to where to where they're running and go he's not the one you should be afraid of <laughs> and just stab him right through him <laughs> all right um with fatal yeah, so damage the sporeborn kind of looks down and looks no, back up never you. never fatal damage my friend <laughs> um not at all <laughs> the sporeborn looks down and looks back up at you with the rapier sticking out of its chest and it realizes that you have missed all of its vital organs Indeed. And it goes to reach out for you, like, to do that thing that it's been doing where it drains people. And then you hear a few pops. And it opens its mouth, and you can see a light from inside as the fire oil has ignited the spores inside of it. And oh, it, turns to, it turns to ash and falls off of your blade. Okay. So... You did non-lethal damage. Your sword chose otherwise. Yeah. Bob will actually yeah. look appreciatively and said, that fire is uh, pretty useful. Um, but because your intent was to keep it alive, and the sword does answer to you, as the head hits the ground, it starts to <laughs> chitter. Cool. So it's not entirely okay. dead. But... Oh, well. <laughs> Feel terrible about that. <laughs> yeah, so so Zero will kind of Zero will kind of uh look to Boz um and just go, uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> I Boz guess 
So you technically would still have your reaction, yes, because te technically yeah. it's not dead. So if you finish, if you want to finish it off, <laughs> I mean, can it actually move? It is a chest yes. head. It's really? still very dangerous. Okay. It's like those little teeth that chatter. You, you don't <laughs> gonna, have to hit it. It's an angle it's biter now, drop. baby. <laughs> oh, no, I just wanted to purge a little bit of the bad mojo from my dice. Fair enough. No, th this is essentially a an incapacitated creature at technically one HP. So, so, oh, oh, Mr. Spook. There we go. Right. Awesome. All right. Um, Yellow will run directly away from Queden. By the oh, God. I did what Michonne up. did to Herschel in The Walking Dead. <laughs> okay, so Clovis, you have an attack of opportunity. If um... I, I, I think Clovis is familiar with this effect since he can also do it, so I don't think he would take it. Okay. Missouri, a you want one. Fuck yeah! <laughs> <laughs> um, well, you and Mary will both get one. Um, <clears throat> so I'll let Mary go first, and Mary will go in for the uh, the bite. But it's not okay, going to well, be if Mary, if Mary goes first, you don't get one. Okay, then I'll send So, so it'll be you or Mary. Okay, it'll be me then. Okay. Um, so I'm going to use, so as I see it running in, I'm just going to start spinning my sensor. And um, that is a 14 plus 8. And so uh, that's definitely going to hit, I'm assuming. This thing didn't suddenly become amazing. And so. Um, yeah, that hits. Okay. And then that'll be, oh, nice. That'll be a 6 plus 5. Um, so 11 fire damage as I release the uh, the sensor from the spin, crushing its face. Okay. And then obviously um, after it hits, I quickly ja jerk it back yeah. so that, that way it's back where I can uh, readily use it. So as the sensor connects with this thing's face, it looks back at you with its jaw kind of hanging loose. Does it, it look? Reaches up, it reaches up a hand and clicks it back. It looks in the direction of where the sensor came from. It would have been, well, it's not going to be more of like a straight on. It's going to be like a hook. He's doing this. So it would actually came from below him. Yeah. So so then it kind of just looks straight ahead and it fixes its jaw and sets it back in its mouth. Yeah. The direction um, it hit him from, if it, it was looking for it, it would have came from probably either over here. I mean, it's not really way. looking for it. It's just trying to be menacing and put its jaw back in its face. Oh, okay. So, <laughs> um, so that was yellow. Uh, green is actually going to take a step out of the darkness and it is going to take two shots at Seer with its bone shots. The first one will be a 23. That is. Eight piercing. Okay. The second will be a 16. That hits. Okay. Six piercing. Okay. Nice. Love to see um, it. Orange is going to 5, 10, 15, 5, walk over to you, Zier, and it is going to try and grab your head with that awful evil touch. Cool. Uh, natural one. Excellent. <laughs> so it grabs one of your horns, but nothing happens. Um, like, like you can you can feel it like holding on to your horn, but it it just doesn't like it's trying to get purchase, so it just holding onto your horn swings at you with its long sword. I'm just like, huh? <laughs> Don't touch my horns! <laughs> Stop it! Uh, fifteen. Uh, me beat. Okay. Uh, so that is three slashing. Cool. Um. So blue. Um, Blue saw what Queden did to its friends and has taken issue with that. So it is going to try and fire two bone shards at Queden because much in the same way that Bosric ignored it, it's ignoring Bosric. Fun. Uh, 18. <laughs> Queden. 9 piercing. And... We need better nope. armor. Next one missed. I, I don't care what your armor is. It's not lower than that. <laughs> um, and then blue-green. <laughs> blue-green. 
uh, is going to reach out for you, Clovis, and it is going to try and reach through the aura and grab you. Uh, does a 15 hit you, Clovis? Nope, that's a fistful of shield. Okay. Um, it, uh, it goes to grab you and closes its hand around what it thinks is your neck, and it just catches aura, and it's, like, grasping at the space ahead of you. Uh, so it is going to swing its longsword at you now. Um, no dwarf yellow has not taken damage other than from you. Uh, and with the longsword, it just connects with your shield again. Um, so that will bring us to Zir. Wicked? Zir, my dear. Oh, my dear. That's Zir. Um, well, I guess there's find a guy... harder monsters for you guys. I guess there's a guy right in front of me that's being a little bit of a butt. He is being a bit of a butt. He is still holding on to your horn. Well, let's ram him then, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Stop hitting yourself. Yeah, I'm gonna... <laughs> so he's got my horn, so I'm just gonna like lean down and run forward a little bit. Um, I'm, uh, so it'll almost it'll be like a ram, but I'll be like shaking. So you just kind of see me ram. I'll like I'll even do a classic like little bull kick with my hoof. Like get off <laughs> me. Um, that is a <laughs> seven to hit. That will not hit. I'm afraid. Excellent. So I'm just like get off. <laughs> um, and then seeing that ramming uh, doesn't work. How about I? Kenny action disengage and I will go ahead and stand next to boss. Okay. I, I, I will literally disengage and go like one step over so I'm near the big guy and hopefully okay. get so, sneak attack in the future. <laughs> you don't have to disengage to move there because you're still Oh right, because I wouldn't leave the throw. Yeah, so let me go ahead and move. Okay. So um as yeah. you pull away from this guy's hand, you hear you hear a crack, and as you look back, his fingers have bent, like, all the way back as you just pulled your horn out of his hand. Ugh. He looks down at his hand, looks back at you, and just one at a time just <laughs> fixes his hand. <laughs> I think Zero audibly goes, ugh. <laughs> <laughs> I would really love to know how they do that. <laughs> um, and please, that don't, <laughs> please don't ever do that. <laughs> Zero will oh. say. <laughs> that will bring us to Queen. Cool. Um, who's not looking? Zero's not looking great. Or, it's okay. And I can't really see Missouri is the thing. So I couldn't really see any of the stuff that was happening to him. Unless I can, like, call out. Yeah. <laughs> I can hear you just fine, All right. so. Uh, well, I, I see. I, I, I got a thought that appeared in my head by, so, by no ulterior motive whatsoever. I'm also uh, going to go so ahead actually, and tell you, because this is a difficult campaign, it is a free action on anyone's turn to say, hey, I need some healing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, all you would have saw was me push that really battered and beaten zombie out mm. of the uh, darkness. Cool. Um... But I've also gotten some some orders from. Uh, okay, well, first of all, let's get my. Bonus Admittedly, out. he's not out of the darkness yet, so. Sure, 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 sure. Um, let's um, let's get my bonus action out of the way first, and I'm gonna go for. Uh, I'm gonna yeah. go for. The basic blue. idea was it's just like remembering our last fight. It's like I don't want Missouri left alone and unsupported we we need to you know we need to be having each other's backs sure yeah um i'm just gonna try and get as many people off the board as possible uh or who's looking orange was looking pretty bad orange took a lot of hits right oh, orange, orange looks like it's very bad <laughs> orange looks right. like it's on its last leg yeah i'm going and, for oh orange. there's a weapon there <laughs> i'm going for orange the weapon like ominously and like i've still i'm still been chanting this entire time like i'm like gripping onto all of my necklaces just the the biggest like evil like <laughs> grin and glare in my eyes just still demonically chanting as all of your uh turns have gone by and <laughs> he just sees like the weapon just like slowly float <laughs> towards him 
uh, and swing down. <laughs> I've got this. I got this idea of like Magneto killing um, Shaw. Mm -hmm. In X Men, I'm going to move the coin now. You just push him through him. Yep. Ooh, that's gonna be uh, 16 plus 8, whatever that is. That'll do it. Yeah. Um, Saving cool. time going forward. The number you're looking for is 14. You will. Graceful. You'd think and she'd give him better armor. <laughs> second level. She did 200 11. years ago. All right, fine. God, that's only five. I'm sorry, damage. my sol my soldier snobbery is showing. Okay, five. If I ah, rats. Okay. So that does not count as casting a leveled spell because it is not concentration based. You can cast any spell you want. Yes. Cool. Uh, just just to let you know. Uh huh. Um. <laughs> I'm gonna, uh, like, yeah, I'm, like, chanting this entire time. Uh, I am going to go ahead and move up to Clovis. Man, we're all, oh, look at us. A lot of us are just, like, in the same, uh, vicinity here. It's like we're friends. Wow. Uh, I am going to, um, look over it, uh, Let's see here. I'm going to do... I'm going to give you a first level Cure Wounds. And I'm going... Yeah. I'm going to like... I'm going to look over at Clovis. I'm going to say... Uh, hey, uh, bud. Uh, tell you, took a, a few hits there. Just don't be afraid to, you know, ask, ask for... I'm, I'm, I'm here for you. Yeah. And then just I'm, I'm give him that cure wounds, and then immediately after saying I'm here for you and giving that cure wounds, turn my attention towards blue green and just let out the loudest, yeah, just like screech, <laughs> fully like engaged, like shield against another enemy. Clovis just gonna look back and be like, hey, thanks, man. Yeah. Oh, all right. <laughs> blue uh, green is gonna kind of look at you and just. Like, it, it, it kind of, like, stops fight. Like, it's holding your weapons, Clovis, but it kind of stops fighting for a minute. It's just like, what? <laughs> That's an uh, extra eight for you, Clovis. The um, orange, is, orange is still standing? Yeah, orange is still standing, yes. Hmm. Interesting. The spiritual weapon is not quite enough. Uh, but that will bring us to Wolfric. All right. Go away, token settings, and I was not looking for you, and I was not looking to move there yet. Oh, controls, why, why do you mock me? All right. Because so. it's roll 20. Ah, yeah, no, never mind, that tracks. Because it's roll 20, and life is a fucking nightmare. All right, I'm going to step down here <laughs> and swing on this guy. All right. Oh, hold the phone. I have uh, not used my bonus action, so I shall use a charge of... Fighting spirit. Okay. Sounds good to me. All right. Let's give these dice some chance to redeem themselves. Yeah. Okay. Let's try the macro. Gotta use the wedding dice, man. They'll never steal you wrong. I couldn't find it. Oh, they well, that's the problem. Me. It abandoned me. <laughs> it abandoned Frodo. So, oh. That'll do it. I mean, technically I'm rolling an advantage, so just to be fair, but yeah, 26. All right. Yeah, I mean, always roll, even if you hit, to see if you nat 20. Or nat 1 <laughs> in the opposite direction. All right, Osric. How do you want to do this? Just this dude actually tried to uh, to hurt. Z Did he actually hit Zir? Mm -hmm. <laughs> he nothing at first, and then in two halves. All right. Ah, uh, the halves fall Classic. in opposite directions. <laughs> Heck yeah. And leak into a black puddle. 
and I will... And I will actually look across, make eye contact with Blue, and move this way to give Clovis some flanking. All right. Okay. Okay. I move five um, to get. I move five to get yeah. there, and then um, twenty-five. Which will bring us to Clovis. Excellent. Now, the the flanking is greatly appreciated, but it's going to be more for you than for me because I don't have a magic weapon that I can hit him with. Um, I know, but he also just saw me kill one of his guys, so he might get mad at me. That's true. Um, I am going to. Uh, well, first, bonus action, the pillar. Uh, uh, have blue or green been hurt so far? Um, I don't recall if they got smacked while they were in the bubble. have not been hurt. Okay. Um, blue is the original target. Uh, spiritual weapon's just going to try and, uh, try and smack it. Three in a row! I should go to the casino. Um, no, you should not. You will lose all of your money. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that is the be, opposite. That's going to be it on something. the virtual dice for me, gang. That's all I needed to see. Um, that's That'll be a miss uh, yeah. from that. R and Jesus um, does not like you. No, clearly not. I'm saying this right now and on stream. I will go buy more dice. Don't <laughs> think I won't. Uh... And in that case, uh, Clovis is. Let's just be honest, a... you're a DD player. You're going to do that anyway. Mm -hmm. Try and resist and actually do decently well. Uh, oh, this is not a, a ranged spell attack. It's a save, so I don't think distance matters. Um, it does I'm not. Just, uh, Clovis is going to, uh, seeing Boz like, slide in behind uh, and sort of draw this thing's attention, is going to say, all right. Uh, and cast Sacred Flame. Okay. Cool. Uh, so that is a Dexterity saving throw. Number to beat is 17. Uh, say the DC one more time. Actually, 17. never mind. It doesn't matter. He rolled a five. So. Okay. Uh, that will be... Uh, seven Radiance damage. All right. Um, for the first time... You guys have all done damage to these creatures, and they have been silent and stoic. But when your radiant damage hits this thing, you hear... <laughs> and it puts both of its hands up to its head. It seems like radiant damage is the way to go with these guys. Hmm. All right. Because whereas you have seen melee weapons do less damage, your radiant damage seems to have done... The spores on its body are all still on fire. Hmm. Okay. Um, Which will bring us to... Oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. No, I, I think after setting it on fire, uh, Clovis will look over his shoulder, uh, the, the monster's shoulder to Boz, and be like, you're up next. On oh, this one. Tag. <laughs> yeah, tag. You're it, essentially. Hey, um, but I can't do radiant. <clears throat> the Marion, Missouri show. All right. Um, <clears throat> so... Uh, I'm going to have Mary go uh, first. Um, Mary and Missouri in the dark. In the dark. Um, so first she's going to try to bite. Okay. That is going to be a 12 plus 4 on her bite. That'll hit. That really shouldn't. Um, <laughs> and let me roll for damage. It's going to be... There's a reason there's a lot of... Three, five... <laughs> Okay, so it's going to be seven. Okay. Is it, um, am I still able to push with the tentacle attack or no? Yeah. Okay. Um, so let me roll on that. That's going to be. Uh, it's always going to be a five foot push directly away. Yeah. If you do that. That's perfect. Um, in the direction I'm assuming. Um, okay. So that's going to be, uh, six, um, plus, hold on. I got to go to carry and crawler. Six plus eight. That'll hit. All right. And I'm rolling. Um, that's going to be an 18 on the die for, because um, remember, it's at, um, it's my strike. Yes. Okay. 
Um, okay, so what is... So it's 18 total or 18 on the die? 18, no, it's 18. It's 16 plus the two. Okay. Um, it does not resist. It goes back five feet to here. Okay. As it goes back out, because uh, we're going to move as a, as a unit again. Um, as it comes out, it's going to be like your next target. And as I say that, I'm going to fire two Eldritch Blasts out. Um, let me see. First one is going to be a... A 10 plus an 8, and oh, that's a 9 plus an 8. Okay, so we have a seven. Okay, so they're both going to hit. Let me roll damage. Um, 10, let's see here. Okay, that's a 9 and a 6. So 15, 25 uh, force damage to it. Um, as it gets pushed out, once it comes out and you hear me say another one for you, you just watch these smoky like with that blue purple like almost electricity going through the smoke just come out and go and kind of like strike it in the midsection the other one strikes it in the head almost like i'm trying to snap off that jaw that it moved back before don't be that and then um as a group um is the smoke centered on him no okay it's not centered on him yet uh, yeah i can't i mean i could but i don't know how so but i can uh, definitely I can, yeah, just go where you want and I'll move this. Okay, I'm trying to picture where the smoke is at the moment. Um, I'm not there smoke yet. Will be there. So it would be me here and then this about. I'm trying to encapsulate green and blue at the moment. So let me see, it's going to be. I think right here would actually do it. One, two. Yeah, they're both in the darkness right now. And I'm behind Mary. And all, yeah. I'll, all I'll call out since those two are completely um, in darkness is, all you'll hear me say is, I'll start to work on these. And then they just disappear from your sight. And, and I'm going uh, to amend the orders. Uh, Missouri looks as if he's got his own plan going uh, until, he, until it, uh, he seems to be in danger We'll trust him to know what he's doing. Green said is out, not said loud enough to confirm to Missouri. Uh, just FYI, Green is out of it a little bit uh, because it doesn't completely cover his square. Oh, then I will move Mary over one more, because okay. um, technically he would have uh, Mary would have moved uh, like an arc, so they wouldn't have seen Mary move into that position. So they really wouldn't right. know where Mary is. Um, and that'll move it over so that the, um, both of them are completely now encapsulated in the uh, the darkness. Cool. Let me see if I can let, let me see if it'll let me do that. But while we're doing that, it and is if the, um, there. If the math is right on that one, I think uh, yellow is now almost uh, should be on its last leg or very badly damaged. Yeah, yellow's not doing great. Um, all right, it is now the. Um, turn of the whites. This white is going to just run over to this corner. Um, he knows what he did. <laughs> blue and green are going to try and make perception checks to find. Oh, is there a DC on that, or am I rolling against them? I uh, it's I have a I have a sad DC. But... Okay. Um. Uh, Green cannot find you, so he's going to attack Mary with disadvantage. Neither can Blue. Oh, um, what, they won so, their roll on finding Mary, or no? Uh, if, to find Mary, yes, just because it's like right up next to it. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Blue is actually going to. Um, I'm going to roll a d4 to see what direction it moves. Uh, it is going to move north until it bumps into Mary. Um. So blue and green are both going to make attacks against Mary with disadvantage. Okay. Uh, they're just going to use their sword. Um, so the first, so we'll go with blue first. Um, oh dear. Uh, even with disadvantage, blue did crit. So that is you got two twenties. <laughs> Jeez. Twenty. Uh, Twenty trumps everything but a one. Yeah. Remember? Yeah. Um, so that amazed is... at the dice. 
So that is 18 slashing damage from the first attack. And then the second attack with disadvantage uh, is a 17. Will that hit Mary? Yes. Yeah, 17 will hit Mary. Uh, so that is seven more slashing for Mary. Yeah, Mary's hurting real bad. Uh, the other white will make its two attacks with disadvantage. Uh, 13. Nope. All right, that is a miss there. And nine, so that is also a miss. Um, okay, so blue and green are finished. Um, yellow is going to try and get Z. Uh, it's going to come in with that uh, head grab again. It's going to try to drain some of Zero's life. Oh, it depends. Wait, no, wrong game. Uh, 14 will miss. Um, so it goes for your horn again, but this time you kind of just like bob and weave because you're not having that. <laughs> I've seen this trick before. <laughs> uh, yeah. So it is going to swing its longsword. Okay. 17. That hits. Seven slashing. Okie doke. Uh, but that will be the end of its turn. And now uh, green and blue is going to try the same trick it's been doing. It is going to try and life drain Clovis and then swing at him with its sword. Uh, so it goes to uh, reach for you, Clovis. And it actually, again, misjudges where your actual body is. And it sets itself off balance. If you want, you can make an attack of opportunity. Fucking yeah. Okay. Well, you didn't last time. That's because the last, that was tactical. The last <laughs> one was under the effects of the thing that you did. And if I hit it, it would have stopped running. And I wanted it to run in the darkness because now it looks like a little silly baby. Okay. No, no, no. He is 100% in the right. This game. one's not running into the darkness and it's not going to look like a little silly baby. So I'm going to kick its ass. Yeah. Um, no, no, I'm 100% behind, <laughs> behind Clovis on this one. He beat. He had good tactics. Do I have advantage on this? Because of my... um, I don't know how if that works on opportunity no, attacks. No, not for this. Okay. Gotcha. I didn't think so, but I wasn't sure. Because technically, getting an attack of opportunity on a natural one is a house rule. So... <laughs> Fair enough. It'd be that good. Uh, that's a 14 yeah. to hit. Beats it, beats it. Nice. Not going to be great damage-wise, but... You know, we take what we can get. Uh, that is five bludgeoning damage. Okay. Uh, so yeah, it did do a lot, but you know, you did something. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, you kind of connect with the bottom of its chin and its head stays back for a minute and then it just comes forward again. And as it does, it's going to do an upward or a downward swing with its sword. Hmm. Uh, 21. That'll hit. Four slashing damage, reduced to two. Yay. Boz gives you a genuine, like, warriors for that hit. <laughs> uh, all right. That, uh, <laughs> I almost asked the, the chat, <laughs> do you want to do anything else? No, I think I'm good. Okay. Pass it to Zier. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> Look. Try to be a good DM, give everybody their action economy, <laughs> including myself. Oh, you're uh -huh. doing great, yeah. <laughs> Self-care is important. You got anything it else is. you want to, any tricks, any legendary actions from these <laughs> do guys? Do I have anything else that yeah. I want to do? You want me to get the legendary actions? Don't no. Don't me, Frodo. <laughs> <laughs> I am okay, thank you. Um, how about this? Uh, so Zir, uh, is a smart, smart cookie. Uh, the fire is what caused someone to turn into ashes imagine that so we're gonna avoid that but do it in a way that doesn't make her look like a chicken <laughs> so she's going to tactically retreat and switch to uh switch to her short bow so we'll go ahead and disengage all right and i'm gonna move back against this door okay um and i'm gonna take a shot at yellow if while I'm moving, I think we decided that you can free action switch between weapons, yes? Oh yeah, absolutely. Excellente. So I've switched to my short bow, so I don't ignite this man. Um, <laughs> that will be a 26 to hit. That'll do it. Stunning. 
There's I'm not damage. telling you not to multi I'm not telling you to multi-class a bard, but I'm not telling you not to either. All right. Or multi um, in, a, in a monk. So, as we shall see. Um, as you take your your <laughs> shot, multi-classing frightens me. <laughs> um, again, uh, non-lethal. Uh, because yes. you, you are very good at this. You are getting surgical at not hitting vital areas. You kind of, like, thread the needle between all of the organs in this thing's chest, but you still, like, make a hole, and you hit it in the spine. So your arrow is just kind of, like, lodged in its chest, and it looks down, and it looks up at you. And it tries to, like, move, but it realizes that it can't. I Somehow, with me. your arrow, you have to scarecrow it. <laughs> so it is dead. Stunning. Okay. Well, perfect. Um, a quick little cheeky, uh, well, I guess yes. you can decide if you give me this or not. I'd also like to try to put my ear to the door and see if I hear any rumblings going on in the room next to us. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'll allow that. that. Excellent. Um, go ahead and roll a perception check for me, because this is a very thick Sure. I'd say a dirty 20. All right. Um, what you hear is muffled crying and shh, shh, it is okay. Our friends will keep you safe. Althea will keep you safe. You have nothing to be afraid of with but... Okay, noted. <laughs> if anyone looks over, zir has got her ear to the door and she's just like, uh... Muffled because, uh -huh. again, it's been a while, I will remind you that the last thing you saw of Dimitri was Katya very, like, wrapping her fingers all the way around his head. Yes. Yes. <laughs> okay. Yes, I recall. That's, just, um... Just making sure that that horror was not lost on anyone. It's not... We're in a different horror at the moment. We'll get to that horror <laughs> later. <laughs> Sounds okay. like it's stable, though, so Zir doesn't make any... Zir won't necessarily say anything. It's just been tucked away in her, her brain palace. Dimitri okay. seems to have lived in this place long enough to know not to tempt the scary, dangerous animals. Very smart. Good, good, good lad. He's a good kid. All right, that will bring us to... Kvidan? Yes, yes, it will. Um... People are not. Who who isn't well? Uh, <laughs> We're married. Yeah. And we don't know that. Yeah, Zier. Yeah. I feel like Zier pretty clearly looks. You kind did. Of up yeah, right now. you yeah. did just watch Zier get stabbed and then tactically retreat. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. even if you couldn't see wounds, she has obviously removed herself from melee range yeah, with intention. <laughs> bit of a yeah, somewhat rhetorical question. I was just, God, I wanted to make use of the uh, of the of the new radiant knowledge that we have, but uh, no matter. Um, I have other business. Um, well, I will also remind you that yellow is dead for the purposes of everything. Huh? I uh, killed him. On, on the I screen, killed him. Yellow, yeah, okay. yellow is incapacity. Cool, because I was. It's still on the board, but it has an X on it. Okay. Um, it's I'm Zier I has yeah. non-lethally disposed cool. of him. Cool. He is not a threat, but he's not technically dead. Great. Uh, spiritual weapon's gonna glide over to blue-green, then. Let's get that uh, bonus action out of the way. Um, in front of Clovis or in front of you? Or do you care? Um, if I can get it, like, around the side, I, it doesn't really matter. It can't. Here? Yeah. Does okay. spiritual weapon give advantage? It Have we not. talked about it that? Is, it no? is not I technically so. a creature. Excellent. Yeah. Great. And this isn't Baldur's Gate, so it also doesn't get a tax of opportunity. Yes. Roll to hit is gonna hit 17 plus everything. I'll do it, yeah. Yep. Uh, and let me do physical dice for the damage this time, because I'm not a huge fan of digital for damage. My mage is five. It's gonna be. Yes. It's going to be seven points of damage, three plus. All right. 
That is a solid hit. Schwing. And I'm going to tactically, not retreat, tactically assist. Um, and going to give you a second level cure wounds. Wow. This is facial? Tactical friend? Tactical <laughs> friendship! Tactical friendship. That'll be... 13 for you. <gasps> Thank you. You are welcome. What? What's a cool thing I can say? I'll just be like... I look much better. Yeah. <laughs> um, bonus action, action, movement... How far away Missouri is is kind of freaking me out, but I can't do anything about that now. So I'm going to stay here. Cool. Then that will bring us to Holes. Uh, oh, that still hits a 15. Twelve. All right. That's my first strike. And that's just with the wedding dice, too. Sorry. Well, that's that. Uh, Clovis. No bonus actions? Clovis. All right. Um, first off, just because it's still sitting over there, soldiering on, not hitting any of its attacks, the pillar's going to go again. So, okay, the pillar oh, has fine. disadvantage now because it is in the darkness. That it does. Let us see. 17 on the first die. Uh, ooh, but it has a bonus. Rolled an 8 plus, what is it? Uh, uh, oh, plus 9. Um. So, uh, was that 17 to hit on uh, uh that'll hit, blue. yeah. Blue. All right, all right, blue is bopped, yeah. Blue is bopped. Let's get uh, four, six. Is that radiant? Oh, uh, disregard this roll, uh, six force damage, disregard right. that damage day. Will do. Uh, all right, that is that. Um, it does something in the darkness that only Missouri sees. Who knows? Um, and uh, seeing what, this thing... What happens is as the, the, the pillar falls, it completely misses it, but it hears it, freaks out, turns to run, and trips. <laughs> <laughs> Gets a face full of forces. Just... Can, can um, it be prone? Can it be prone? <laughs> no. <laughs> uh... And You're doing as, fine. Uh, you don't need help. Honestly, we're kind of we're kind of kicking this fight's ass. Well, poor uh, Mary's hurt. Zier took a few hits, so. And I'm rolling horrible horrible amounts of ones. And somehow we persist. In spite of everything, honestly, we, I'm alarmed that we're doing this well. Um, Clovis is as a, uh, as Boz is, battering this thing about, uh, and it's focused on on trying to dodge his strikes. Uh, Clovis is gonna snippy snap again. Uh, so another dexterity saving throw. Okay. Salt here is the world. I knew it was coming <laughs> every time. Uh, so that'll be about twenty. <laughs> okay. Well, never mind. Nothing else. Sorry. Oh, if only I could use luck on other people. <laughs> Perhaps one day I shall be able to. Hmm. Perhaps. All right. Gotta get, um, gotta get with Biju, man. Biju will let you do that. Uh, that is all, though. Uh, so that will be my turn. All right. That will bring us to the top of the lineup with the Mez and Mary show. Uh oh. Caught Sorry, my son <laughs> just gave me a frog. Oh. Yeah. Precious. Okay. 
Mary should turn into a frog at some point. Thank you, son. Thank you for the frog. Yes. <laughs> Thank you, buddy. Yippee. He's like, I'm Amazing. putting it on your shelf. Um, I love it. Um, so I, and Blue got hit by a pillar, I'm hearing. <laughs> Blue hit himself with a pillar, to be fair. All right. Sadly, I'm going to whisper to Mary and be like, I don't know if you're going to make it out of this darkness. Are you? You okay with this? I do not fear the other side. I am a creature of the mind. There is nothing to fear. Well, let's piss them off. Um, I'll just pat Mary, and Mary will attack first because Mary's a damn, just a, an absolute beast, literally. Um, <laughs> yeah. Um, so that's gonna be an eleven. Is this on blue? Um, no, no, this is on, um, where is it? Hold on, I have to go back to the map. This is on green. Oh, okay. The first one's a tentacle attack to push green away. I see. And so that was also, an 11 plus 8. I want to retroactively, um, that's fine, I'll take the 19 hits. This is a really cool maneuver, and I want you to take an inspiration for this. Because this is awesome. Yay! Thank you. Yeah, I'll probably use it in a minute. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna roll against uh, to see if he actually gets pushed. Yeah. Um, that's gonna be a 17 plus my strength bonus, which is two, so 19 on his push. All right, you have beat the whites by two every time you've done this. <laughs> I want you to know that. All oh right. Oh my goodness. Okay, so he's gonna get pushed at an angle. Yep. And again, I'll, and I'll just scream out, another one's on the menu. And uh, as the green one gets you shoved You're right in there. I am. And uh, at that, Mary will roll a 14 plus 4 for her bite. That'll hit. Let me roll the... Uh, I should stop switching between the two because I have to keep going back. So it's 2d4. Let me roll these. Uh, is this poison damage? No, this is uh, piercing. Okay, cool. So it's seven piercing. All right. And then... Got it. Again, I'm going to roll with my... Um, with my Eldric Blasts. Yeah. Um, because Mary's being such a trooper, as the first one comes out, it's going to look like the standard one. The second one's going to look like it stays attached to me and looks like it's a tentacle kind of smashing into it um okay. so uh the first one was a 13 plus 8 for a 21 the second one was a nat 20 <laughs> happy to send uh, the shot of that one because it's sitting right next to her die and oh, her die has a it's an animal one that the 20 is a rhino oh that's awesome So it's a 20 next to the the animal die and i was like that's fucking awesome that's super uh, cool so that's gonna be um the second one's automatically gonna be a 15 um, I'll take it. Plus nine. So 24. All right. So it was seven plus 24. And then the, um, the one that just looked like the standard bolt, um, we roll that out there. That's, uh, eight plus five for an additional 13. And with the exact amount, Zura, how does this thing go down? Um, so I'm going to say the one, the tentacle that smashes it. Um, I'm going to say instead it's almost like my, it, it acts sort of like the sensor. It's like it just wraps the, the, uh, the tentacle wraps around. And as the, the, the electricity of the, the bolt itself kind of works its way through, the second it reaches the tip, the head just pops off of it. All right. And uh, I love it. To that one, I'll say, <laughs> no more in here. I'm going to take this one back. And I'm going to, we're going to move over. <laughs> and um, we're going to move back over here and here. And it's shroud green in uh, darkness again. <laughs> All right. Love it. And as we move away, oh, you guys can't see through the darkness, but... uh. There's a really cool headless uh, white on the other side of that. <laughs> well, it's a puddle now. 
Oh, that's sad. They are oh, puddles. Let us at least let us at least see it. Oh, what you saw was the head pop out of the bubble. <laughs> and then yeah. uh, with that, uh, we will like an end... awful mushroom zit. Oh, jeez. <laughs> and with that, we'll end uh, end uh, end our turn. Great. Uh, it is the white's turn. Uh, this white is just going to move forward, and it is going to try and drain Mary's life with disadvantage. Uh, doesn't it need a perception check to see where it is? Because we moved. Um, yes, it does, actually. Unfortunately, it can find Mary. Okay, that's fair. Um, 23 to hit Mary. It's going to hit, yeah. Four necrotic. Still alive! <laughs> and I need her to make a constitution save. Let me get her bonus. Um, it's a plus three. That's going to be a 15 plus three. All right. It's 18. Then uh, her her life is not drained. Um, and it is going to make a swing with its sword. Okay. That will unfortunately hit for 12 slashing damage. Okay, and so she will dissipate, um, and so it would, uh, she will no longer be on the map. Um, yes. If I can get her to, and the darkness will start to fade away. Give me just one second, I wanna see how this. It took its two attacks, I'm not worried. <laughs> Oh. Okay. Um, so, because the focus of your darkness has been destroyed, the darkness will actually just drop. Okay, that's fine. It used both um, of its attacks. I'm okay. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, what you guys see is as the darkness drops, it kind of feels like it's being pulled into something. And the last thing you see is the dark outline of a carrion crawler missing the top half of its head collapse to the ground. And then the darkness dissipates. Uh, what Mary also, once it hits the ground, she would just kind of start to fade into smoke? Oh, that that's what they saw, oh. was Mary fading as the darkness faded. But Mary was the last thing to go. Um, so all of you do unfortunately see Mary fall. Um, Purple is just going to hang out over in Fear Town. <laughs> um, and Blue Green is going to keep hammering Clovis. Because he is single minded. Uh, 23 to hit. That'll hit. All right, Clovis, you take three necrotic damage. Have to as, one? Uh, or... Yes, have okay. to one. As this time it reaches through and actually does grab your throat. Um, and I need you to make a constitution save. Okay. Oh boy. Uh, that's a seven. Okay. Um, your hit point maximum is reduced by one as you feel some of your vitality no. reach into this thing. That's fine. Yeah. By one. Oh no. <laughs> I'm ruined. <laughs> Not that. Um... And then it's going to swing its sword. Uh, 21 again for 11 slashing damage, halved to 5. Okay. Um, and that will be the end of their turn. Zir, you're up. Yes. It is time <laughs> to do something. Well, um, I think I'm just going to step slightly <laughs> over. Actually, how tall is Queden? Very, I think. Yeah, he's like, like seven feet tall. Yeah. Yeah. For the purposes of hide, can I hide behind him? Can I use him as a hiding method? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna say no, because Queden has also been described as very spindly. Oh, yeah. sure. Yes, that makes sense. I'm real lanky. 
totally, totally cool. What about the skeleton man here? Uh, is he is a skeleton on the ground. Yeah. Round. Okay. No, no he is that standing. big. That is a ten foot skeleton. He's standing up. That's a large <laughs> man. Yeah. And you can well, hide behind the see through skeleton. That's you the, did. The, you the, did the... just meet a very large woman in the next room. This may be the first experiment. That's true. Understood. Damn. Just keeping the bones around. Yeah. The first experiment was a failure. It's right there in the notes. Mm-hmm. That them bones been there for three hundred years. Oh yeah. That's crazy. It's dust. <laughs> them bones musty. Them bones <laughs> musty. Okay, or well, you know she like encased them in something. Mm, I'm gonna perhaps. sidestep just over <laughs> right here, so I've got a clear shot at green. Okay. Uh, you mm. see Zir look around, consider hiding, and go eh. <laughs> Nowhere to hide. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah, we'll go for it. Short bow, shot, ten to hit. I doubt it. That'll that'll miss. Whedon, what are you listening to? Because I want to listen to it. You are rocking it. No, I sorry, I was singing hopelessly devoted to you. That part where she goes, <laughs> but now there's no. <laughs> oh no. Yeah. We're, we're... I love the Oh okay. no, you've activated one of my trap cards. Don't do that. Yeah. <laughs> the musical theater kid in my head's like, do it. Do it. But hold on. I am always here to encourage that impulse. <laughs> do it. I hope I hope one of these episodes is a musical. Let musical episode. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'll be gone that week. This boss makes sense. <laughs> I've gotta do sing. my hair. <laughs> that was an episode of Buffy, I'll do it. Oh indeed. For sure, for sure. All right, but yeah, um, the short bow does definitely miss. I think I'm still. You can tell that I'm still. <laughs> I think I looked at. I think I looked at Queen and considered hiding, and then I looked at the skeleton and considered hiding. And I think while I shoot off my arrow, I'm like, "That was stupid. You can't hide behind a skeleton on the ground." <laughs> and so I'm just like, I'm just in my own thoughts, like not even really paying attention to where I'm aiming. Perfect. All right. Okay. That's it for me. Queen. That's my name. Um, man, so Pink over here is just kind of living in his own little world in the far corner of the map, isn't he? Oh, yeah. Um, you did that. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah. Purple, Purple's just living his life. Oh, uh, Purple's, rather. Mm -hmm. um, or his, his odd life, I guess. So we're kind of chilling, aren't we? Well, I mean, Missouri. I just saw Missouri up here. Missouri's not chilling. He needs, or at least he needs support. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, uh, just try to get over in his general area. There's like three people flanking blue green, and who has already taken a good amount of damage. I think. If you're feeling uh, particularly vengeful, you did see green. Kill your mascot. I did see that happen. Um, for sure, I'm gonna try to. Hmm. Your spiritual weapon can make it to him. My spiritual weapon can go to green, but it can't do anything about protecting Missouri. I want to heal him if I can, but I don't think I can get over there and heal them, heal him in one turn. I really haven't um, taken a lot of damage. Okay, cool. So I and, actually look pretty good. <laughs> yeah, and, yeah. Actually, you're chill. Yeah, uh, Mary, Mary took the weight of the damage. Mary took, like, all the damage. She, she yeah. She's been tanking it, and they but, were missing me. That being cool. said, that being said, so having some support for our spellcaster would not be would not go remiss. For sure. Um, oh, this guy's down. I was worried about taking opportunity attacks from him, but he's down. I forgot about that. Cool. Yeah. So I can just go straight Here. to him. We're just gonna assume that he's gonna get Kudegrad later, so we'll just move him. Cool. I'm gonna go ahead. Kudegrad or ignored. So you said radiant damage does more damage, or like it looks like it's. To Cool. I'm gonna take my full movement and just try to get as close to this area of the map as I can. Okay. Um. And we're gonna do. Uh, word of radiance as I. Um, okay. Yeah. What, what save is that for him? That is. Ooh. Oh. Ooh. Wait. No, I can't do that. Sorry. It's a range of five feet. Oh. Okay. Um. 
Rats. I'm glad I looked at that. Um, oh, rats. Rats. Well, then, I guess I will do... I don't have... Guiding Bolt is Radiant! Let's go! Okay. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna Guiding Bolt that guy. Alright. Guiding Bolt up the butt. Boop. Again, not super great, but it'll probably do it. Six plus eight, yeah. Um, cool. And I'm gonna try to roll this with physical dice. Just need a lot of them. Bear with me. No worries. Oh, I'm so glad I did that. Six, twelve, uh, uh, seventeen, nineteen. With four d six. Yes. Yikes! All right. Uh, yeah. Um, two sixes, a five, and a two. As you fire off this um radiant blast um it seems to like cleave a good portion of this thing's body off um and it screams in the same way that blue green did and is now glowing yeah yeah it's like it's le <laughs> like it's light like twirling in with the absence of light so it's just like pitch void darkness with just like crackles of like it, it's still blinding but in a really weird like tv static way and just yeah yeah um what the rest of you see is it looks like a star just yeah. kind of shot out of queen's hand yeah because lest we forget he's the god of death and the sky yeah <laughs> all right don't forget your don't forget your uh your Spiritual weapon. Did I forget to make an attack on the guy? I did. You did. Thank you so much. I think, you, I think you were considering where you were going to put it. Yeah, that'll hit with a 19. So, uh, well, might as well get this guy out of the way if I can. Uh, and that is... What is that? A G? I'll just digital dice it for time's sake. That'll be 10 points of damage. As it... And with another right on the money, how do you want to do this? Oh, uh, that thing... Uh, yeah, I want to say that thing just, like, goes straight down like a like a lever being pulled and just, like, cleaves it right down the center. Um, right. Yeah. Sounds good to me. Nice, simple, and horrifying. Just a... All right. Love it. Anything else, Quedon? Uh, Full movement, bonus action, action. That is me. Sounds good to me. Osric? Uh. I'm five feet out from that guy. Gosh darn it. I don't want to burn my action surge for more movement. <sighs> but don't. I think, are... we'll, I think we'll get him down, and I think it's wise to say, save the action surge. There are four other fighters. You'll be okay. <laughs> yeah, but I haven't done a we lot. We chillin'. We chillin'. You've done... What do you mean you haven't done a lot? You've done so much. Mm. I'll pop off a crossbow shot. Okay. Don't forget you have advantage because of uh, Quedon's Guiding Bolt. Ah. That'll it. Little TV static bullseye. <laughs> Five. All right. Okay. A little bit of damage. Oh, well, maybe I'll focus on me instead of anybody else i am closer i i'm going to be completely honest with you 
if Green survives to his turn, he deserves to hit you. Clovis. Yeah, if, if it doesn't go down uh here, I'm I might I might call it quits. Uh I think uh this, watching the man in front of him get guillotined, Clovis will be like, Oh, thanks, Stendhal. I was really tired of him. Uh turn around and uh is going to snap once again and try and uh sacred flame green. So a dexterity saving throw. Okay. You also have your pillar. I do have my pillar. That's my backup plan. He in case this Hey, there we go. Uh that'll be two D eight. So Oh yeah, baby. Eight and eight. Sixteen radiant Jeez. damage. All right. Well, that would have killed him at full health, so Okay. <laughs> Do you have any artful way you want him to die, or is he just dead? Um No, I think I just burn him to shit. Alright. Okay. Bonus and action. I'll move my pillar twenty feet towards purple. Okay. Mez. <laughs> I'll look around and be like, uh, what are we doing with this guy? Are we just going to... What's the plan? Charge. <laughs> Get him! Bug him. Take his lunch money. <laughs> All right. That's me. All right. Mez, you're up. Sorry, my, my son's talking to me about... Um... Um, what's it called? Uh, Tobots. Um, no worries. That is very important. So, so it seems I know nothing about it. Um, <laughs> so, uh, we have that one guy on the, uh, the very edge. Th th thanks buddy. I'm playing a game. Thanks buddy. He brought over the box to show you what he's talking about. Th thanks bud. B buddy. Buddy. Thanks. I'm so sorry. He is really it's like okay. wanting to show me this. Um, it is totally okay. Never apologize for your kid being a kid. No, that's why you apologize for them. Um, <laughs> no. It has to be. Uh, looking at this, so there's only guys left. Is this the guy creeping in the corner doing absolutely nothing? He's trying to get out. He's like scratching at the walls. There's um, a big skull tall scary tree man chasing him <laughs> but he's, I feel bad. this dude is literally just chilling over there doing nothing my goodness alright well we got two clerics um, so did one of you want to talk to the dead man The, as in the only one remaining in the room? Yes. And I'm just playing with smoke in my hands, kind of forming it. Like, I hope you know by this point how far and deep my disdain for the dead goes. <clears throat> Clovis, if you'd like to question, it's up to you. But No, not really my thing. Well, then More of a city guy. And so at that, I'll say, well, then enjoy, Queden. Let me take away some teeth. And I'll push my hand forward and um, let me roll to make sure it actually happens or else it's completely useless. Um, well, that's an 11 plus 8, so it's going to happen. Um, from the smoke, it kind of, when I push my hand forward, it looks like just swirling, two or three swirling puffs of smoke. And then it just forms into a giant skeletal hand and just goes and rakes across it as I cast Chill Touch. Okay. Um, let me do the, the damage. Um, 2-8. Okay. Yes, I see you, buddy. He's back. 4 and 5. So it's going to be 9 necrotic. And I will turn and be like, this one, he won't be able to take your life like the last one day. Is that the chill touch you got from your race? Yes, it's psychic. Oh, yeah, it's psychic, not it's psychic necrotic. damage, yeah. So I'll say this Very one. important distinction. And, uh, no, one of I'll those say, it is a Mewtwo. And I will say, um, and I will just say, this one will not be able to 
siphon your life for a moment like the other one seemed to do. And I'll just fall back in, on the, the map here and I'll just fall back with the others. Yes, okay, buddy, I'll do it. This is a Tobot, if you could see it. It's it's like a, a, a transformer of some kind. Thanks, Love buddy, it. everybody. As, as, Me, as Mez passes, Boss is going to go, stop him and go, when we get out of this, first, I owe you an apology. Second, I'd like to have a, a conversation about organizing the group going forward. And I won't even look at you. I'll just continue to look at the uh, the the friend of the person that killed my friend and just be like, after. After. I thought you were going to say about Tobot. <laughs> I'm sorry. I want to have a conversation with you about Tobot. Honestly, <laughs> honestly I was 50-50 on I didn't know if he was about to say something in character I, or if we were about to talk was... about Tobot. No, 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 no. One of these I could participate I know in. About the these other, robots. I know zero. <laughs> no, no, no. That's something. That's something I've been. I've been planning. Like I'm deep I'm in thing. googling right now. Uh, I'm playing a Tobot artificer next game. <laughs> you were planning on talking Shark to me Claire. about Tobots. <laughs> There's a Kia no, Soul no, no. Tobot. <laughs> My car is a transformer. I'm so excited. <laughs> I'm gonna. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna. I'm gonna bring us back, back on track. Yeah. yeah. Sorry. Uh, uh, no, that Apple was, shakes That was 100 a like. That was 100 percent in character. It's like yeah. Um, very frustrated by what happened, is going to walk forward a few pace, paces, realizing that there is a thing right here, but he's just mad, and he's going to try to sh shoot Queen with bone spurs twice. Oh, no, no, did I scare Queen off? And he's not even here to defend himself. Look at what you did. I hope you're happy with yourself. No, just shoot, just shoot me. I have temporary hit points. I can take it. Well, yeah, but it doesn't want to, so I'll, I'll just wait. It's fine. We'll wait. <laughs> so what's going on with them Tobots, huh? So actually, <laughs> I'm looking it up right now. Oh. So there's two. It's for, re it's there's, for Korean Transformers. Two, Ladies and gentlemen, this is a Tobot stream it's, now. It's South Korean Transformers. <laughs> it's awesome. And my, my son is in love with it. And apparently I have to get one so that we can play together as the Tobots. And yes. um, so there's two that I'm digging real hardcore. One of them's a tank. The other one's sort of, I guess, a garbage truck. I'm not quite sure. It looks, but I don't know if it's worth the investment. I need you to know I'm gonna buy the Kia Soul Tobot like tomorrow. So <laughs> Wait, what's it called? Hold on, I don't see that one. What's it called? I think it's the Tobot X. Tobot <laughs> X. Or if you just do All Kia right. Soul Tobot, it's so good. Okay. Key, key of soul, you said? Key? Kia. Kia soul. Like well, the cause car. Because it's, it's Korean. Some of them are based off of Kia vehicles. Oh, so good. Queen, hey, Queen, your you're about to get shot. My AC? Mm -hmm. uh, so, uh, 15. Sorry about okay. that, guys. No, it's totally okay. Uh, you take two bone spurs to the chest and take 16 damage. Woo! <laughs> Welcome back. <laughs> I was waiting. I was waiting for the for the for it to slip to bone spurs. I was waiting. And I'm so glad it did. Now people are getting hurt. Uh, I'm chill. What happened? All right. Uh, but he's the last one, so that's that's it for him. Uh, Zir. Transforms okay. into a Tobot. <laughs> I sure do, dude. <laughs> Um, if, we, if we ever want a break from the horror, we'll just play all artificers, and it'll just be a, yes. to a Tobot campaign. Yes, we'll do we'll do a Tobot. I'll run that. Shot. I'll run it, and my son oh, will be here. So in my son will be here. One shot, Tobot. <laughs> we'll we'll start working on it. Okay. Um, More forged artificers. That's not even a joke. I'm so here for this. <laughs> not sponsored. Not sponsored. <laughs> Wait, hold on. More forged artificers. More forged ruins. <laughs> Mm. There you go. Um, so let's see. I mean, we just have purple in the corner, huh? What's their deal? What are they up to? Uh, they just turned hostile. Very cool. Um, I will. Well, everybody's kind of clumped up, and I feel awkward not being part of the club. So I will move forward out of awkwardness. I want um, to be part of the club. 30, 35. Here we are. Um, and so then fast. I think I know I'm a, I'm a quick little satyr. Uh, and then I'll... Boz is a big guy. And so I think I'll kind of like squat a little bit. Like, <laughs> and... Uh, I'm shorter than, than Queden, but I am broader than him. 
Gotcha. So you could conceivably hide behind me. Um, well, I'm trying to get a shot off. Uh, at if at if, if uh, the dreadmaster allows it. At Pierpol. Okay. Totally, totally cool. Um, I'm just for for the purpose of getting an arrow through you in that trajectory. Well, it, I guess with that diagonal, it'd go over your shoulder. So I'll actually get on my tiptoes. How about that? Um, with my tip hooves. Can I use my reaction to crouch? <laughs> It's, her... it's not gonna it's not it's gonna, narrative yeah, yeah. Okay. it's Comedy. narrative yeah okay okay Comedy i was worried about was oh worried no about. You're, yeah. you're no this you're is entirely good. narrative don't worry about it um so i'm on my tip rogues do like two things so i have to add some extra fluff to what i do <laughs> otherwise i just go i shoot i sneak <laughs> i fight Ro um, the thing with rogues is rogues do all of the things it's just none of them are combat yes correct <laughs> <laughs> um so with the short bow, that is a ooh, thank you, die twenty four to hit. It like Good. teetered. Um, there is your piercing damage. Pierce. All right, we'll take thick piercing damage. Stunning. Which is slightly less damage, but uh, it <laughs> seems to be not piercing all the way. Uh, sure. He may have resistance to non magical piercing. Understood. Does anyone <laughs> look super duper hurt? Okay, just keeping that in my brain case. Can't do anything right now, but might do something um, later. You do need to have your sneak attack for that because no, it, I does, know. it does yeah. go whales. Okay, cool. Yes. Just making sure. Yes. I'm just curious for next turn. Yeah. Um, okay, and then I think I will just stay pleasantly where I am. All right. Thank you very, very much. Kavidin? Hmm. I have no ranged melee weapons. I don't really particularly want to use up a spell slot for this. Um. But I suppose I must. Um. Because I can't. One, two, three, four, five. No, I'm not going to get within range to do much of anything cool. Um, oh, well, first of all, let's get, can my spiritual weapon get over there? No. No, no. It's got like, what, 60 feet? It's uh, got 20, feet, 20 feet around. Oh, 20. No. Well, uh, he'll just, uh, he'll it just can move. begin to toddle, but it, yeah. Yeah. He'll just like move as a like to symbolize my anger. <laughs> uh, it's a very stern float. We'll, we'll, we'll mm -hmm. give it that. Doing the mini march. <laughs> when I get there, I'm gonna give you such a pitch. Why I oughta? <laughs> All right, I'll. <laughs> I will do. Gotta, gotta have the levity while we can get it. It's gonna get dark after this. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm gonna go for a uh, first level uh, guiding bolt, I suppose. Hockey. Oh, shouldn't have digital dice that. That's a 12. That's a miss. That is a miss. Um, then I guess I use the rest of my movement to get as close to it as I can. All right. Question mark. Yeah, go for it. Yeah, it's just uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. All right, Mr. Cobb. I'm actually going to to mildly shake my head at at that move, and I'm going to. Uh, well, I'll duck. <laughs> move in front of you, <clears throat> in front of you, and. Just point my sword challengingly, as if to say to say to the thing, "No, your fight's with me." Hmm. Okay. Novus. Unless there's a big pillar. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, uh, but yeah, yeah. Um, I I will attempt to pillar. All right. Um. So it'll move in and make it strike. <laughs> Sorry, uh, I'm too much of an anime fan. I used to I attempt to feel it. All I can imagine is Clovis just going like this and this I I <laughs> <laughs> Um 
That's going to be a 17 to hit. Or, sorry, it. 16. Still. That'll still do it. Uh, and spiritual, spiritual is 1d8. Uh, that'll be 10 radiant damage. Okay. Force damage. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Force damage. All right. Good, good catch. Uh, it's not looking great. All right. Uh, and then I will uh, follow Quedon's, uh literal footsteps and move my full movement forward, which gets me right there. Um, and if I am correct, that's, yeah, well within range. Uh, Clovis is just going to look at everyone and say, one of us is going to get him eventually. And uh, I will do uh, Sacred Flame once more. So okay. dexterity saving throw. All right. I was hoping you'd Guiding Bolt so I could say, it looks like the turtle from Mario Kart. Just... <laughs> <laughs> uh, he fails. Nice. He takes 11 Radiance damage. All right. And in a great white flame, he vanishes into ash at a puddle of smoke. Good? Yes. Okay. Uh, Boz will immediately go up to Queden and say, Queden, I'll say this out of uh, concern for your well-being. Why are you not holding your shield? What do you... What do you mean? Take out your shield right now. Do you know what that is? That is portable <laughs> safety. And I will take my sword and kind of clunk, clunk, clunk. You see that? See that? That is portable safety. Why are you not holding that every time... I mean, you saw the one time I put mine away. I got hit pretty hard, and I haven't stopped since. Keep that handy. If, if yes. you're going to walk toward that thing, have your shield. Good? It's very big and clunky. And, yes, and... it is big and clunky, but you know what it is not? Painful. Yeah. I'll step forward and put a hand on Boz's shoulder, look at Quedon. You get used to it after a little while. It, it, was, it was pretty heavy, but... Not dead yet. Our friend does it. I'm saying this out of concern for your health. Hold your shield. I appreciate Hold the it concern. Ready. Good. Thank you. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pat, I'll pat it, the shield. Be like, dun, dun, dun. good, because I remember how you are about physical <laughs> contacts. <laughs> That's and, so kind. And I'm going to. You pat it, and like my forearm, like holding the shield, does go down by like a foot. <laughs> and I'm going to go to. Bizarre. Yeah, I'd just be winding my it. chain and kind of rehanging the sensor yeah. at my belt. And kind of look at. All right. So what's our next move? Are you all right? You, your uh, companion. We'll come back when I need her. All right. Just... De 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 her death is not the end. I see. Still. One... I don't like it either way, but I believe we have to get Dimitri, and I know you were all concerned about the entity. You're and... right. You're right. There is one innocent in there that we need to worry about, even though potentially there are two innocents in the rooms. I was... We go under the Putting assumption... the car before the horse. Well... It's... We go under the assumption that there is one innocent, um, considering that some of your hearts are bleeding for the other one. I can harden my heart if need be. I don't like it, but and, and the rest Dimitri is the priority. And I'll look around, and the rest of you? I will do everything that I can to save that girl until I judge that there's nothing left that I can do. I won't get in anybody else's way. I'll promise you that. Just don't expect me to go in there swinging. I believe there's a chance. It might be a small one, but I'm going to take it. Quaden? I have no allegiance but to the four of you. Whatever... Whatever the group decides, I will act accordingly. Zir? Um, killing her might be saving her. that right there. You don't know which way we're going to have to help her. Um, 
Right. But she's spoken very highly of her mother and sisters. So regardless of how we think, what matters is what she thinks. And if she feels we're working against their best interest, it doesn't matter how innocent you want her to be. She will You're be. right. You're right. I'm also going to... By now, I think I would have been looking around the room and clocked the cabinet and... You mentioned that earlier. Well, we've already broken the rules. We've looked at her things and we've damaged property. So really at this point, we're just doubling down if we look through anything else. There was no way out of this room without destroying the things we destroyed. If you want any info about Dimitri seems uh, scared, but safe, by the way. Last I heard. And I'll kind of point to the door Good and to make like a ear. <laughs> All right. Check whatever you need to check before we move on. We may not get a second chance. Yeah, you were pretty handy opening that lock. You any good at checking traps? Hmm. Maybe. In theory, right? I don't know what you can do, so I'm asking. Uh, I'm just trying to make light of, uh, never mind. And yeah, Zero will go over, um, to this cabinet here, is the one that Boz is referring to. Yeah, and I'll go over to kind of... I would love to check for traps. Alright. I would love to give the help, the, the help action. Okay, roll investigation with advantage. Coming. Great, 24. Um, the door is trapped. Um, there seems to be a mechanism that would release um, highly pressurized salt mm. when you opened it. Which, if you do not know what that does, highly pressurized salt will immediately disintegrate flesh. Oh, for sure. Yeah, <laughs> big time. Um, oh, she's great. Also, seems to be a false oh. back to this cabinet. You can tell by looking at the cabinet that there is a place, like a seam on the back, that is almost perfectly in with the grain of the wood. But with that 24, you can see that it doesn't quite match, which means that the depth of the cabinet is not as deep as the cabinet actually is. Neat. Um, how tall is the cabinet and how tall is the ceiling? The cabinet is seven feet tall. The ceiling is 25. Oh, sick. <laughs> um, Clovis, <laughs> Zero will just kind of grab you and move you. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, I'm going to borrow you for a second. And she's Wonderful. Gonna, what, what are we doing? She's going to, she's going to escort you to right here. <laughs> And she's gonna climb up your back and get oh. on top of the cabinet. Okay, uh, Clovis yeah. will put his if shield over that, his head. I'm gonna make a little. I probably could. Can... All right. You know. uh, Who's the closest? Roll an acrobatics check, just just because it's fun for me. Oh, of course. And it's the last time for, I made it's fun the for last me time too. I made you do that, you a hundred percent died. I hope so. <laughs> That's a thirteen. You're up. Stunning. Okay. <laughs> you fall and break your leg and die. <laughs> fall okay. and die. The cabinet again. disappears. There's another hole. Stunning. Okay, so I'm on top of the cabinet. Yes. Um, and I would tell everyone to move over to where Queen is. Uh I'm gonna open this, but if you're standing near it. It'll shred you. So. Are you all? Are you safe up there? Yeah. Are you sure? Mm hmm. Uh, I'm going to, uh, before walking away, Clovis is going to give you a sort of side eye. I'm sure that you can do this. This is an insurance policy, and I'm going to touch you and cast warding bond. Excellent. Uh, and then do as you said. Move to the side. Cool. I might actually move some um, bit if, over if, here. If, uh, guys, if you unlock it, I can open it 
without any of us being near it. The, uh... I mean, I'm already up here. The trigger mechanism is the lock, <laughs> actually. Mm. So. <laughs> All right. Good luck. Um... Okay. I'm going to... Uh... Here's the plan, D DM. <laughs> I'm sitting on top of the cabinet. <laughs> so here's cabinet. Here, I'm gonna, I've got a little jar of catnip. So here's cabinet. Here's me. I'm sitting like this. And then my feet oh. are here. I'd like to hoof kick the lock as fast as possible and then bring my feet up like this. So it'd be like a... <laughs> okay. How's so... Sound? <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. Well, okay, hold on. Not my you legs. You also push it over. Not my legs. No, I don't think we can. You, it is you could a also cabinet? attempt to disarm the trap, but this also works. She doesn't know how to do that. Okay. <laughs> no, she, she does, but she's. um. About to say, the best thief, huh? <laughs> do you, do you, I thought you need like a disarming that um, tool type thing. Yeah, yeah, but being who you are, being that you are the chosen heir of the queen of the Black Alley District, you have. Okay, great. Well, <laughs> so maybe I'll do that. Okay, cool. Roll <laughs> me a sleight of hand I was, check, please. I was really excited about the possibility of losing. No, the I leg, love that, but. <laughs> Perhaps I shouldn't be as fast. You would have been rocking a super so high acrobatics guy. Already died. Yeah. No, my sleight of hand is better, so we'll go with that. Uh, but I will still be at the top of the cabinet for fun. Okay. For whimsy. No, I I love that you're like hooking your hooves on like the the because it's like an ornate cabinet. So you're like hooking your hooves on the top, just like Mission Impossibleing it. Oh yeah. That's how I imagine it at least. Exactly. <laughs> um, I got a twenty one. Okay. Um. With a sound like a semi-truck letting off its brakes, as you disarm the trap, the pressurized air is expelled from the cabinet harmlessly, and you are able to open, you are able to unlock and open the empty cabinet. Nice. That would have been a DC 21 dexterity save with 20 d10 necrotic damage. <laughs> Have the Hell yeah. <laughs> I love that. Yeah, thwarted, high pressure salt. Thwarted by a silly <laughs> satyr with a kit. Okay. Um, great. I will jump down and walk in. Okay. Um, roll me another investigation check to see if you can figure out the front's back. Okay. How about a 23? Um, so you are messing with it, you find another place where the grain is different, and you tap it, and the it seems to move away. Um, the pressure coming out of it actually seems to have dislodged it a bit. You're able to slide it to the side, and behind it, you actually see another room. Cool. I think all, like, humility, sadness regret that she was carrying with her up until this point has disappeared she is now the best thief on earth again <laughs> she's like yeah i'm so awesome <laughs> um, in this sealed room you see an ornate um what Ooh. appears to be an altar um and yeah. in between two golden deer skulls there is what from far away looks like a dagger would you like to investigate closer um, is that, is, is our friend that we met on the other side of the gate present at all <laughs> in any capacity? Okay. Um, I'm going to be good because I said I would be, and I'm going to poke my head out <laughs> and look at the party and go, um, there's a dagger. Can I take it? Is there any sort of imminent threat of death immediately within the the cabinet? Not visibly. I can okay. get... We were told not to take anything, but... 
I think we've already broken the rules, Quedon. I'm not sure if it matters at this point. I can get the dagger without any of us having to go in there. I'm going to walk over and take a look at it as one of the two resident god guys and see just sort of what this whole situation is given off. Um, You feel immediately like a divine presence kind of just mm. radiating off of this. And there's something in the room that is stifling it, so you didn't feel it until you got close. Mm -hmm. um, and as you look around the room, you see more of those veins of aura, but they are only on the inside of the walls. I see. What you are realizing now is that they are not amplifying magic, they are draining Hmm. Okay. And they seem to be using this dagger as a power source. No. They no? They seem to be stifling whatever this dagger is. Okay. So cool, so cool, so cool, so cool. Mm. Zira's like prancing. <laughs> She's uh -huh. like, can I take it, please? Can I go in and take it, please? Um, I'm going to <laughs> just... Zira, first of all, excellent work on the door. Second of all, I want to say yes, but do I need to recognize any sort of symbolism on it or in the altar as a whole? Are you closer to the dagger? Yes, I've, I'm literally, I'm like peering over Zir's shoulder. So um, the golden skulls on either side are stag skulls. And as you look at the dagger, the blade is actually made out of what appears to be volcanic glass. And the handle is a single black stag skull. God, oh, that's so cool. God, so, God I want cool. it so bad. That's so cool. And I do want to give it to Dear Child. Yes. Um, and you do recognize this looks like being, you know, being a god guy. <laughs> this looks like god what god it myself. looks like on the inside of one of the altars of Haragok, the dear god of nature and the forest. Hmm. I'm just a general alignment on that god. Would I know them to be a good god or a bad god, or are they just like neutral yeah. like wild i'm gonna come back to your question in just a second mm -hmm. missouri what are you trying oh to no do? i'm gonna say as they're doing that i'm just gonna start moving small bits of smoke around and um while they're talking there's gonna be a um a mage hand uh, made out of smoke that kind of just floats into the room um it will pass the threshold of the cabinet and disappear uh, the room ha ha what well, I was trying to see um, if we could get it without having to physically go in there and get ourselves in trouble. Was it good? Um, but but Clovis, uh, yes, um, Haragoki is a very good god. He is known as the Watcher, um, and he is of the two gods of nature. He is the one who is kinder. Um, okay. The other one being Cyrus the Hunter. This week's not. Okay. Uh, to to Zier, Clovis would be like, yes, so it seems based on the symbolism that this is related to Haragoki. It, you see a look go over Clovis's face like he's about to launch into a four-hour lecture and then realizes it's probably not the time for it. Uh, so he just, it's probably good. Um, I would recommend that you take it, honestly. And if you don't want to, I probably... I'll I'll pick it up and you know make sure it's not cursed. Why is it here? That's is a good question. The, is this the artifact? Well, it was described. the The one that was described to us was a pearl, right? Dread Master, it was a pearl. No, it was, but there. But the but the matron mentioned pearls, didn't she? Um, okay. Each one of the uh, the dark dukes has a pearl. Okay. Somewhere so, in their possession that is stifling the matron. So this is not what's affecting the matron, but it is an artifact. Mm -hmm. My guess would be, based on its location here in this magic-sucking room, that either uh, Lady Seltradart is siphoning its power and using it as a catalyst for something else, or perhaps is trying to corrupt it. Is there any blood on it? Does it look like it's been used? Okay. Um, can't tell. Okay. It looks pristine. Does it look like it would be like of ceremonial purpose, or does it look like a like combat ready weapon? Yes. Okay. <laughs> my my only concern about taking it 
is if it will if it will somehow if we touch it will she somehow know i'd yeah. say there's a decent chance of that Indiana that's my Jones concern. trap baby we're about that's to have a boulder concern. fall on us <laughs> well <laughs> a boulder in the shape of a vampire woman mm -hmm. well don't and forget that her daughters are still lurking about possibly in and we haven't figured out what to do about dimitri i hate today yes <laughs> i would very much like for this item to be in our possession, but we do have to acknowledge the fact that doing so may make a choice for us that we're tiptoeing the line of making. Well, keep in mind that if we go in that room, we're making a choice that's going to make a decision for us. So one way or another, a decision is going to be made. Yes, I need but it. I need it. I need it. I have what to I, have it. What I mean <laughs> to say is touching the dagger may start that choice before we have a chance to get into the room with Dimitri. And so that may put us at a disadvantage. In terms we do of have to choice. remember that Dimitri is the primary objective here. Now, I'm not saying we shouldn't take this. It, that is not off the table, certainly, because it looks important. Here, but... Be a wisdom safe. I hate the smug pleasure on Red's face right now as we're discussing this. He's like, <laughs> yes, yes, fear um, everything. <laughs> so, yeah, uh, wisdom save. You said a wisdom save. Uh -huh. Stunning. I hate that. Is it against a spell or magical effect? Nope. Okay. Unless you consider your giddy willpower a spell or magical effect. Nope. That's a this 14. is an intrusive thought save. 14, you, you gotta have that knife. Like, I know, dude, I so do. So, I know, I hate it. So as they've been, as they've been, I was just about to say, as they've been talking, um, I have two daggers on my possession, so I've taken the one that I use less out, um, and I've used my other dagger. <laughs> like, so while they're talking, I've got two daggers in my hand, and I've etched into the other dagger that I don't use as often, Fuck you, but it's spelled F U K and then just a U. <laughs> and then I'm gonna walk, I'm gonna creep up to the altar and I'm gonna do Ooh, like an Indiana Jones swap. <laughs> All right. Um, as it is perfectly weighted, if you put your finger where the blade meets the handle, it would balance perfectly on your finger. And wow. one of the as all things uh, should be. <laughs> one of the antler horns, when you hold it, actually comes between your forefinger and the, the other three fingers and kind of hooks in so it fits perfectly in your hand and the rest of it comes around yeah. so allow me to share with you this dagger i have so many cool slicing things <laughs> yeah. so good at hopefully stand. this will come up on oh the... yeah there you go that is the thorn of haragoki that is what it does oh it's so cool it's so cool it's so cool deals an Gosh. additional 2d6 that is in that's, that's so cool that's, that's so nice. cool that does that's more so damage cool. than some of our spells <laughs> <laughs> well we can all go take a nap zero's got this yep. um <laughs> and as you hold this dagger and kind of balance it in your hand you feel watched in a way that you felt before like you can tell someone is watching you but this time it doesn't feel like it doesn't feel predatory. It doesn't feel frightening. It actually feels comforting. As if someone has your back. Oh. Interesting. I instinctively and, look to see if it's one of my siblings. Um. And you swear that you see the back half of a deer disappearing through the Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> I start like doing like almost like a butterfly knife. I'm just like flipping it around. I'm thrilled. Uh, so um, it is a plus two dagger. It does plus two to the attack and to the damage, and it does an additional two d six poison damage. It's freaking stunning, dude. That's that's. Uh, that's and it good. is it is magical damage. Freaking freaking stunning, dude. Jeez. Does anything about the room seem to change? Okay. What about the skulls on either side? So I'm, I'm presuming that Zier is now walking out with her prize and going. 
Oh, she's not even walking out because she's so enthralled. She's just you, if if anyone <laughs> uh, stops the conversation and looks over at her, she's just whipping around a knife. L literally, as she's still in there, I'm going to say, um, was anyone trying to stop her because it's too late? <laughs> Are the stag skulls to be like drink. attached <laughs> to the to like the altar? No, they're just okay. skulls. Uh. I think Clovis is going to pick them both up and look at them and say, you deserve to rest in a better place than this. Oh, we're just going to steal everything now, aren't we? I'm not stealing. Um, I'm doing a service to Haragoki. Who would not want okay. to be here in a basement. Okay. Anyone right. who wants to um, save or try to persuade the kind young lady next door through the doors i will give you an opportunity to go first as uh i'm pretty sure um going in blazing was said by someone at some point so um uh, i'm just gonna say that, the, go ahead the problem with that is that she literally has dimitri in hand at the moment if i remember correctly that is why i give whoever wanted to work with her the opportunity first, because my reaction will be to remove the hand. Um, Clovis, as you pick these skulls up, they seem to be coated in aurum. And you feel, you don't feel the connection to your god sever. But if you try to call on his power, it seems like you're not quite able to do so. So what you're holding in both of your hands is a null stone, which creates a 30-foot anti-magic feat. Okay. Interesting. Um, and you, you cannot control who is affected by that. It, it is right, basically right. a silence bubble. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, hmm. I'm going to walk out of here and uh, to, to Mez and Boz. I'll say, I'll go in first and at least get myself situated as the guy with the shield. So if things come to a fight... I'll be close, but hopefully that won't happen. Uh, Boz, uh, and I'll hold up the two stones. Something I want you to have a look at, but later. I'm going to go put these by the doorway. Um, I, I don't know what I could possibly know about them. I'm not, uh, I'm not a ranger, nor am I a wizard. I'm not, I'm not sure there's anything you will know about them, but I think you'll be interested to learn. Um, and I'm going to go set them by the staircase. So, Zir, as the skulls are removed from the room and the magical dampening effect is taken away from your dagger, as you're looking at the blade, it was already kind of glistening with that volcanic glass, but now that you look at it, you see that the volcanic glass isn't actually black. There is a thin coating of some kind of liquid on it. More wet blades for Zir. <laughs> Yes! <laughs> More things that could probably kill the last thing she wants. They're wet! I know, dude. I'm, like, <laughs> getting all these cool weapons, and I'm the one who does not want to kill. <laughs> all these hot, wet, murdering sticks. Hell yeah! So, um, you put the two skulls down. Zir, are you hanging out in the room, or are you going with the, uh, talk to Katia team? Uh, I'm gonna go with everybody else, yeah. To, so we're going to talk to Katia. So I'm putting the stones down, like, here, by the, by the staircase, <laughs> so they won't impede us in the room. Okay. Oh, jeez. Oh, no. Oh, God. Okay. Cool. So, uh, you guys, do you want to go around, or do you want to go through the, um, the lab? What are you all offering her? I'll go through the lab because we need to open that door because she won't fit through the room. Actually, I'm gonna... Hold on. Mm. Let's take a minute. We need to make a plan. Mm -hmm. And unfortunately, right now, I am not... <laughs> You're right, we do need to either give her something or... Queen. Hmm. You're able to sense undead, yes? Yes. Is she undead? 
Uh, know the location of any undead within 60 feet that is not behind total cover. Well, that's pretty... Let's see. Um, the door is total cover. Yeah. But there's another uh, open but, door that we went and to. We've been in the room before, so would he right. know from... Oh, yeah. What uh, I just know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're so right. She is... technically undead, but because of the way you sense undead, she is unlike any undead you've sensed before. Sure. Um, well, maybe not. Uh, roll a history check. Okay. Because Queen's been around death a lot. Oh, and yeah. I want to see if you have the very specific sense memory of what she is. Let's do it. She's dead too. Electric boo-boo. It's a pretty decent roll. What's my modifier? Oh, that's an 18. All right. Um, yes, you have sense to this kind of undead before. She is undead. She is not a vampire. The closest thing to what she is is a flesh coma. Or a Frankenstein. Cool. And I relay that. Would he also know if turn undead will work on her? It would not. It nope. would. Nope. Oh, it would. Because okay. that's the boss is kind of connecting. Oh, wait a sec. Yeah. It's a long shot, uh, and I'm I'm trying to say this in. If in it would work way. on her, it would work on her, but not Dimitri. Yes. Is it possible to just get her to flee? Yeah. To simply have her flee, but we can perhaps fool her into thinking that something is wrong with Dimitri, and that we need to take him away so that he does so that she won't be afraid anymore uh, dreadmaster from my studies do i know anything about flesh golems um yes you know that flesh golems are usually immune to most types of physical damage that is not magical um you know that they are not harmed by lightning you know they are ridiculously strong but you also know that they don't look like her I was checking the effects of the command spell, which do not work on undead. So yeah, mm -hmm. turn undead is our best. Uh, they, I have goal. something else I might be able to use. We'll see. Um, which is what? Uh, tell no, no. Tell me right now. What is it? That was that was me out of character. Oh, I was, I was um, out of character. Okay. Yeah. Well, in character, I'm, Clovis okay. will say uh, <laughs> that sort of magic gives us a very good shot, but it's not an absolute, and it's true. she may it, be powerful enough to resist it. And if she is, that may enrage her. True. But if, if if she doesn't see where it's coming from and doesn't know what it is, she likes Dimitri. All she will know is something is happening. She wants to keep Dimitri as, as safe. I can also you know? uh, do so invisibly. Uh, well, I can be invisible when I cast it, the casting. Uh, well... Until oh, I incidentally, until... I will have I will have tried to move you guys away from the door while we're talking. Hidden we're step... not talking in front of the door. Yeah, obviously. sure. Yeah, hidden step, uh, invisible until next turn. Until I attack. Until I make a damage roll or force someone to make a saving throw. Oh, okay, yeah, that is definitely okay. I'm saying is, I'm just saying, um, if yeah. possible. Just keep in mind, guys, if what he said is true, this thing is incredibly resilient. It is incredibly powerful right and most of what we do is going to be reduced to some degree but if it does work it does have a possibility to at least keep it away it's a possibility i'm just throwing it out there <sighs> yes I, I think it's because we don't because we don't have the trade option anymore <laughs> why, why don't we or don't do we not we do Oh, well, I suppose we could also try that, but she didn't seem... She just... needed to tell me what she wanted. True. Well, we can try that. We can keep the we can keep the turn undead in our back pocket. Yes. Friends, my plan is this. I'm going to go in there, and I'm going to offer her, not a trade, but freedom. She wants to play with Dimitri. Perhaps Dimitri would prefer to play outside. If we can get the two of them outside, 
then at the very least, we stand a better chance of separating them and being able to flee. It is possible, however, I believe she said her mother doesn't want her to leave. Her love of her mother could trump any other desire. We have to factor that in. We can ask, certainly. But keep that in mind. Mm -hmm. Keep in mind, you guys already spoke with her once, and she seemed quite um, happy with her family. Uh, it may be true. possible that only you guys feel she's being mistreated. She may feel like she is being treated quite well. So trying That's to convince so rubbish, her it? of anything other than that, and you may that be is... breaking the only s stability she has. You're absolutely right. But Shall we try for the trade again? I think maybe we lead with that. Fine. Yeah, we could find what... Uh... All right, let's try for that first. And if need be, next next phase, we'll try and turn undead. That's All right. the plan. Well, we have to let's let's go talk with her about yeah. the the trade. I'm I'm opening the garage door. Okay. So you uh, pull this big heavy uh, plank off. It takes both you and Quedan to do it. Um, or. <laughs> or, or, a 20, or you have a 20 string fork work, <laughs> who can also help they're both just like eh, yeah. eh, buzz it, it would still take two people uh, mm -hmm. it's very heavy yeah. um, but you're able to lift it off and as you look in Katya kind of looks up with her hair still covering the deformed side of her face hello they did. yes we Marty, did Mati set up terrible traps but Take Bati's knife. I didn't. No, I don't. I, I hold up my hands. It's okay. The Bati didn't use it anymore, and it was so pretty. Mm. Glad it's going to someone nice. It is very pretty, yes. Actually, I have an actually. Uh, do you like sharp? Do you like sharp things? I no. I I, no? I like to look at them, but I don't want to hold. I would you like one? Them. Would you like one to, of your own to hang up on your wall to look at? Well, let me show you something. And I carefully pull out my not my, not my katana, but my old sword. Can we um? Can we position ourselves in case things go sideways? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Where go are we standing in the yourselves. room? Yeah. Go ahead and get where you are in the room. Yeah. So this, I'm I'm at the door. I'm just kind of. Okay. And I and I pull out my cool sword. I pull out my my elven sword. Wait, what do you think? You... Mm, I don't think there was a need for me to be. Okay. Um, she kind of looks at the sword. This was yeah, made nice. by elves. You know what elves are? I, I know what elves are. Yeah. It's Mati showed me in, in a book. Yeah. I They're for... like her, and they point. Uh, she points to Zir, but with normal feet and no hooves, like him. And then she points to Clovis. Yeah, he's a half elf. That's right. I'm a half, half orc. Elf. Half orc. Yep. Mati told me about the half orcs. She said that they got unfairly treated. It has unfairly happened. Unfairly treated. No. Sometimes. There, a, a lot of people thought that because I was a half orc, I would have a horrible temper. And you know what I did? I became a samurai, a warrior of discipline, to prove them wrong. And that's samurai? where I got this sword. What is samurai? Samurais are warriors who serve a noble, a, a master, and they go around protecting people. As she's talking to you, you see her hand, the grip on her hand starting to loosen a little bit. What do you, you protect? I do. I'm a member. I show, I show my, the falcon. I'm a member of the Vermilion Vigil. She reaches out her finger and kind of starts to trace the symbol. Yeah. Um, That's the falcon, our symbol. Uncle, Uncle Grigori, 
told me about falcons. He says they're pretty, but they are. loud and fucking if, annoying. If you don't train them right, yeah, sometimes they can be. But yeah, I but yeah, I got this sword when I completed my training as a samurai for my lord. His name is Oromis Tarunya. Um, he she looks a little closer to you. You're green, sort little, of. Little bit. No, no, orcs, orcs, orcs are usually green. Some are to other colors. Me, she, I'm um, just got a tiny little bit. She starts to tap her her hands and feet on the ground, still kind of holding on to the Mishu, but a lot looser. Can you turn into a fish too? I can't turn into a fish. Uncle but Kratos is green, and he can turn into a fish. But tell you what, I can do. What? <clears throat> my master taught me. All co- he taught. I, I should tell you about my master. You would love to hear about him. His name was Old Man Zat. He couldn't see. But he could do all kinds of fun things. He was trained by magic bird people called well he called they're called Ravenkin. He called them Tengu. And they taught him all kinds of wild tricks. Like what? What kind of tricks? He could stand in one spot and then all of a sudden in a bar, he was suddenly over here. He tried to teach me how to do it, but I just never could figure out how to do it. Like like my sisters, when they turn into the red clouds. Yeah, a little bit like that. They don't, He didn't turn into a cloud, he just blurred in this big spinning and then whoop, there he was. And uh, you see that she has let go of Dimitri and is clapping her hands. I love when they turn into the clouds. I wish I could do that. I tried to learn. He tried so hard to teach me, but I just, I never could manage it. Warrior, protect. I do. You stay. Protect Katya and Dimitri. How about this? I will leave you. This sword was given to me by my master. I could leave it with you. I could also show you a little bit how to use it. Would you like to learn to be a warrior? I... You mentioned something. You said you get angry. Do you have you ever heard of a barbarian? Uh, yes, Marty has told me about barbarians. They use their rage as power. They focus it and make it their strength. It doesn't control them. They control it. Wrong. I'd be useful to Marty then. Maybe, maybe if you show Marty that you can be a strong, controlled, disciplined warrior. And but you have to learn. It takes practice. Kill the mean lady with the loud stick. And and then and then I kill the blind lady in the big house. And Marty, Marty be proud of me. Yeah, you have to you have to practice. It takes a I mean, you don't think I picked up a sword the first day and was good? Oh no. Oh man Zach. He would, he he could beat me with just holding a stick when I first started. I had to learn, so you have to learn too. You interested in a lesson, perhaps? You, you stay and teach. Me. I can teach you. I can't stay forever, obviously, because I have my oh. my sworn oath as a samurai, but also my oath as a samurai. Perhaps I can come and teach you. But the sword, the sword would be yours. That would be my gift to you. I want you to roll a deception check. No, I'm, I'm not deceiving. I will give her the sword. That's I'm fully willing. That's not what she's reading from you. I okay. So for, okay. Uh, anyone want to give me help? Absolutely. Uh, um, I can add words to justify the help if you'd like. Okay. Yeah, you can tell her about when I defended mm-hmm. you. Yeah, Katya. Boz is one of the most honorable people I've ever met. He's very good at protecting. He is telling the truth because back in the day when I was in a caravan on my way to do business, Boz protected me. 
from terrible people who had come to hurt me and steal things. But Boz stood up for what was right and helped me, and he would like to help you. And he's been training me how to protect people as well. I would also like to help you. But we could protect you much better if we were to go out and do other things. And if you'd like, you we could don't, come with us. We don't have to, but it is all... We all don't have to, but we would like to. We want to help you. Okay. I wait here. I... I the sword? Strong. I keep Dimitri safe. And then Dimitri? she takes the sword. But you have to learn. No, I, I was, you have to learn how to use it. Are you resisting her taking no, no, the sword? I, I, I'm, 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 I'm holding it. I'm, I'm holding. It like, I, hold on. I show, let me show you how to use it. Take. You have it. Does she have it in her hand? I'm gonna uh, lean into uh, Zir. Sort of. It looks like a dagger in her hand. Yeah, Zir. Zir. As this conversation has developed, Zir has slightly stepped out of the room next to Bez and is leaning over in a whispering fashion. And, and I'm, I'm whispering to Zir. Oh, yeah, no, I think we just gave the angry monster a weapon. I kind of think we're fucked here. Yeah, when do we tell her that we have to kill her mom? Uh, I don't think we tell her. We don't tell that um, part. That's We don't say the quiet part out loud. Gotcha. Okay. <laughs> Atia, can I ask why you're so intent on staying here? This room is, well, it's big, but it's very dark. And, uh, well, there's no light. There's no smell there's no things for you to have fun with leaning in oh there's a smell zero stifles a laugh <laughs> friend not very nice they they come from a place that is that's humor is weird Marty i've never says, been myself Marty says i i'm too frightening that if I go outside, I will scare everyone. Well, don't we don't think you're frightening. Scare anyone. You've not scared us. It's true that a lot of people judge based on looks. That's why, I mean, like I said, I'm a half orc. They judged me based on that. Thought I would have a bad temper. I, to I told them otherwise. It's so all she's about holding on to this. She's holding onto the sword. You, you don't think I'm scary? Not at all. I think you're rather nice. And perhaps, maybe the world has changed. You've been down here for quite a while. Perhaps, if you came out with us and had a look at the outside world, maybe you would be able to prove to your Mati that you're not as scary as some people used to think. And I bet that would make her quite proud. And then you'd be able to stay outside and have fun, and you could play out in the open. It's so much more space. And the sad fact is, is that a lot of people will judge based on looks. The, the thing to do is prove them wrong. Prove that looks aren't everything. That temper can change. That you are better. better. That you... You can be a great warrior, a disciplined warrior. That's what I did. I proved them all wrong. Roll a I persuasion mean... check. And I'm not going to say no advantage and no help on this. Fair enough. Which one of us? Uh, Boz. Blech. <laughs> Only a 10. I talked to Mati. You, you stay till she gets here, and then if, if Mati is okay with it, I, I go outside. That's fair. Would you like me to show you some sword moves? No, no. I, if we wait for Mati, I don't want to hurt All right. Dimitri. All right. All right. Well, Dimitri will stand over here and watch. And I'll be over here with you, showing you what to do. As you say that, her hand reaches back around and wraps around Dimitri's midsection. Dimitri stays with me. Well, he'll still, no, he'll still be with you. He'll just not be in range of the sword. He'll still be close. He'll still be close. And you can put down the sword and come back to him. It's just to keep him, again, it's to keep him safe. And wouldn't he Wouldn't he think it'd be cool to see you use a sword? I, I do, Miss, Miss Katya. That would be very, very cool if you used the sword. Yeah. 
I'll show you some moves. Dimitri, why are you scared of me? I, I'm not scared, Miss Cut. Dimitri, don't he's, lie to me. He's he's had a rough day. I'm, he's scared of he's scared of the situation. I'm he, right he next to him. Am I within touching distance of Dimitri? Yes. I know, assumedly, she wouldn't let me, but okay. Um, I'm gonna try and put a hand on both of their legs and cast heroism on Dimitri. Okay. Which would make him immune to frightened. Okay. Um, you can't see her leg, but you can put a hand on her shoulder. She's yeah, kind that's of like fine. hunched over. Yeah, that's fine. Um, so, okay. Only you. They have to leave. Everyone thinks I'm stupid. I'm not st stupid. You to try to take him. We haven't tried. We're not trying to take him. Monty told me about you. Monty told me about people from your world. Or liars. Or selfish. That's why Madi keeps me down here to keep me safe. But you are nice. Maybe Madi's wrong. Madi has. Madi said, from what I understand, hasn't been to our world in a very long time. The world changes. People change. I'm sure well, Mar Marty is very wise, Katya, but there are all kinds of people all over the world, and living here in such a beautiful place, I'm sure she hasn't met all of us. Some of us are rather kind. You, you'll show me how to fight, and then you come back tomorrow and you show me again? I do have to run it by your, your Monty again, of course, but I will show you what I can show you. You hold these all? Got it? Again, it's so small. She's just holding it. She's holding right. it in one hand, and it comes down to, like, maybe two of her fingers. All right. We'll start you with one hand technique. She starts to mirror you, and she... I mean, she's not bad at it. Uh, but it's not... Like, she's obviously not going to be a, a great sword fighter. Well, not with that size sword. Maybe one. Maybe Is she two. still holding Dimitri as she does this? No, she's pushed him behind her. Okay. Uh, look back at my shoulder at everyone. Just get a sort of vibe check of the group because this may be our window. Well, she wouldn't the have problem... moved until everyone was and out. The and, and also, also, I've been, I've been basically like trying, throwing the kitchen, everything in the kitchen sink because I really mm -hmm. don't know how to deal with this. I'm fairly certain that we've we've hit we've hit either turn undead or something of that effect. So I'm just kind of flashing. She doesn't. She does not start the training until everyone leaves. Okay. Except Bosric. Um, I think as I'm walking past, then I would like whisper to Bosric because I have to pass you to leave the room. Do you have this? Can you get him? I can do it. I, but I I need to know now if I need to. You can do it out of sight. Can I? Can I do it out of sight? They ha I believe they have to be able to see it or hear. So, I suppose she could hear. I could be around the corner. <clears throat> uh, hmm. Is that within... Okay, yeah, that's easily within. All right, yeah, I'll uh, move back around. Corner here. Opposite side of the wall from Quedon. Okay. Um, And I'm going to... I'll hold my action to do a channel divinity, and I'm going to look at Quedon and, and say, this, we need to be ready. Make sure that you're ready. Turn order clear, huh? <laughs> <laughs> ready for 
ready to try and turn her. Yeah, we're putting a lot of trust in you guys. Guys, wouldn't it have been smarter to move them towards the small door? She did not seem intent on going anywhere. So are we killing her? <clears throat> I'm still trying not to. Okay. So now that seeing... she has a sword, options might be more limited. So we're just going to lie to her and kill her mom. Yeah, basically. <sighs> okay. Are you guys saying this right outside the door? No, I assume they're not. I hope they're not. Okay. Um, no. I was about to say, because you know yeah. she can hear you from yeah. here. I'm gonna no, say... would have, uh, to have this conversation yeah. would have moved further back. Um, All right. I'm going to, I'm going to speak into Bosrak and say, um, if you don't want us to see, would it be make more sense to move further down into the room so that we, we can't, um, impede her training and so that she feels better with us being out here. And I'm obviously saying it for her benefit as well. Right. Honestly, okay, it's, up, it's, up, it's up to her. Yeah, I think it's fine. Okay. I was trying to be respectful because you wanted us to be out here. I don't want you to take him. Enjoy your training. So, um, she does it for probably about, you know, for as long as you are willing to keep training her. But she always makes sure that she is between this door and Dimitri. You, Bosric, have hunted before, and this is very similar to a mother protecting its young. Yeah. The way she moves. No. Oh. Write down on a piece of paper and hand to Mez. Uh, do you have a way to grab him from far away? I guess I'll take your pen. <laughs> he doesn't have one, and write. <laughs> um, I'll I'll write down and give it back to you. No, I don't have the speed or something that can reach that far into the room with haste. I'll just take the paper back and fold my arms. Zero, zero reaches for the paper. <laughs> <She's> like, <laughs> um, and I think she does have some kind of writing utensil, maybe, huh? You, I think you would probably have a piece of charcoal. That's probably what Clovis has. Mm -hmm. I have a tinder box, so yeah, in theory, I yeah. could... I could use that. Um, uh, I'm going to write Boz's life is in our hands. <laughs> and just make sure everyone can see as I write it. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to nod. And um, then I'll Bosric... take it back and write again. This was their choice. Uh, as you're training, you notice that Katya is smiling a little bit more, and she does seem to be getting more at ease. After a while, she says, That was fun. You come yeah. back another time? Well, first I want to teach you one more thing. You said you had a problem with, uh, you get angry. Have you ever heard of meditation? Meditation. It's something you can do when you feel upset or out of sorts, or you just need to sort with your your mind. And I'll show her a meditation stance. Can you do that? Or meditation seating. She kind of like she can't sit up. You see that her body's like permanently bent it's, over, like, well, like super bad scoliosis. But, but she kind of you, puts herself into the position. Just come if you can sit comfortably. She gets as into the position as she can. Hey, good and comfy? All right, now. Breathe. She takes a deep breath. And out. She exhales. In. And out. She is focus. mirroring your movements. Your focus only on your breathing. 
There's nothing else in the world. Listen to stillness. Find calm. She is very focused on her meditation. Out of character. I'm trying to give you guys an opening. At, yeah, to this, I know. To, uh, to do turn undead. Uh, Dimitri is on the ground, ungrabbed. Okay, I'm going to peek around the corner, and she has her eyes closed, correct? Uh, no. No, okay. I'm, But I am keeping eye contact with her. Mm -hmm. I'm, okay. Because I, I knew she would not close her eyes. I yeah. can be, so can I'm, I make any kind of signal to, like, remind that I can turn invisible? <laughs> you, you're out outside the door with us. You could just turn uh. invisible. <laughs> I think I think we've, I think we've out of sight, discussed already. it in this plan. Yeah, we also yeah think, we also yeah, have a know. piece of paper that we've all been scrabbling on, so you could scratch on that if you want. Yeah, I think at this point we're we're out of sight a little bit. Um, I think uh, well most of us have moved out of line of sight of the door anyway. Um, so I don't want to do this because I have very little. I I can just turn invisible and just attempt to. This is like a small child. Mm -hmm. um, so. Uh, you can grab him and just start running. I certainly could try. Where are they exactly in the room? Can we move the tokens so we can see exactly where they are? Where they are. Yeah, I think their tokens are where they are. Okay. Um, uh... Lovis, if you want to use that action to turn the undead while I try to like grapple invisibly and then I don't, what do we are we just are we running so what's the I think I think you grab him and just try and full sprint for it and yeah. if you guys can make it out the door before she can catch or like get Dimitri back or anything that would be great I can try and turn undead her while that's happening or do my other thing which might have a higher chance of success um mm. But yeah, I think the goal now, based on everything that's happened, I think the best course of action is just for you to go invisible and try and get hands on Dimitri so that when this starts, we have somebody ready to cart him out of the room. The second I try to grab, they're going to make some kind of noise or... Yeah, there's not really any way to avoid that at this point. Yeah. But so the, situ gonna... the situation Although doesn't he does have heroism on him, him, doesn't he? He's afraid. Yes. Of, he's not, he's not frightened. He, so he can't I'm be gonna... frightened, but that doesn't mean he wouldn't still just make like a surprise. Um, so yeah, I'll gotta make. to grab and run. I'm out of sight of the thing, and I'll just. Uh, so I'll point to um, Quedon and go. Mm hmm. I'm going to grab that piece of paper and jot. Can you make me <laughs> invisible? Can I make you? Mm. I believe I just have... Ma yeah, you can magically turn invisible. It's hidden step. Okay, so just you uh, would respond so with no, on I think. The, I think we're yeah. all gathered around this paper, <laughs> passing the pencil around, and I would write, uh, Missouri, can you make more darkness? When things start, cover his exit. Mm. I'll t I'll write if needed. If needed. Yeah. <laughs> I'll I'll underline <laughs> your if needed. Am I just can I just like point in the direction of like are, we're just trying to sprint right out of the mansion with this guy? Oh, wait, I'll write down if we can get him out and bar the door, Boz should be smart enough to head south to the small door. With, and I'll, and I'll, I'll just go. I'll just write on the paper. Let's go. Yeah, I suppose. I'd love it if someone could cover that door just in case. But oh yeah, we're, I don't don't worry, don't worry. Which but which I, I yeah um. So. Yeah, which door are you talking about? Well, you can't. Tell the smaller door. Mm -hmm. But yeah. Do I need to make a a stealth check getting over to him, even if I'm hidden stepped? Yes. Cool. Let me see how quiet you're walking. Yep. Uh, 
Does Boz's meditation guidance give him advantage or anything? Okay. If anything, it would give him disadvantage. But I'm going to let him roll it straight. Fair enough. Guys, I got real bad news. Uh-oh. That is a natural one. Oh. Well, so, hey, we at least you it. know how loud you are before you go inside. <laughs> Unfortunately, that's not how that works. Yep. Yeah. Fully oh. invisible. I <laughs> assume I trip over myself. Well, what happens is fully invisible, you go in, but as you move the door out of your way, since you're a little bigger than Boz, it goes... Right. And she immediately snaps out. And then, Boz, she looks at you, and she goes... And now you see as this as her hair kind of starts to, like, flare up, you can oh, see... Boy. Her, the smile that goes all the way up and the sharp teeth and the one reptilian eye. Lies. And I need you all to roll initiative as she takes her hand and slams it down on Dimitri's body. It was worth a shot. But we are not going to do that combat tonight because it is going to take us a whole hell of a lot more than 30 minutes. Oh, yeah. so. For sure, Zs. <laughs> Uh, My initiative is garbage. Oh, I rolled a nat one. I got a six. So did I. So I forgot to click on my character token. You got a sixteen. Mm-hmm. I also got a sixteen. Buddies. Uh, all I'm missing is Queen. You're definitely more dexterous than me. <laughs> I've, I've got a twenty in dex, and I. And Sorry, I, <laughs> I was muted. It's a ten. But it makes sense that after watching her slam her fist onto Dimitri that I'd be shook enough to get a nat one. So I'm not angry about that. Um, she also didn't, like, slam it down aggressively. She just kind of, like, grabbed him and <laughs> put him down in that way. Like, she's not attacking him. She's not trying to kill him. She's just putting him down in a way. So, like, <laughs> the, the sort of fine gesture. Um, all right. Well. Um, well... <laughs> <laughs> it was a great plan, gang. I do want to end it with it this was music, a plan, gang. Just because we're coming into a fight next session. Yeah. But thank you all very much for tuning in. We will